Question alchemy. What? Three, four, and um. Okay. <sighs> right on. I think we're up and ready. Okay, so uh, hello there, everyone. Welcome back. And uh, today, uh, what we're gonna be running, um, we're gonna run here in uh, Genshin for a minute, and then we're gonna head over to Code Vein and run some Estrella. Uh, so first of all, I wanted to uh, wanted to just do my uh, one of my resin runs, and then uh, we'll do a house tour. Of all the of all the housing that we've done, so we'll we'll head up here first, and uh, we'll finish out this resin, and then uh, we'll we'll head over to the islands and such. Okay. and uh, we're just gonna have some fun to uh, check out Estrella and how uh, that uh, is actually gonna run in uh, Code Vein as a bayoneting uh, build. But uh, until then, we'll just uh, do a little bit of this here for now, and then uh, we'll, we'll head on over, and we'll take care of business. Okay. Okay, my mouse is not uh, responding there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we'll uh, just do a little bit of this for now. It's fun uh, being in Guang from a distance here. Okay, um, and then we have to head up here to this corner. Okay. But i uh, really been enjoying the uh, housing developments and how they're uh, going ever since we hit uh, rank 8. So it's pretty cool that uh, now I have two places to fill up and uh, enjoy the, the uh, wonders of building... Um, building on the ocean and such so after we after we get through here uh, we'll head over do that and then we'll head back into Kobe and we'll uh, check out what's going on there with Estrella and just uh, how we can do uh, there you're in for a little okay but right now we gotta push these guys off the edge or whatever okay you can't run punishment okay a little Hopefully closer. we can uh, <laughs> get these guys taken care of pretty easily. Ouch. Okay. And we'll just... Uh, <laughs> that guy's getting uh, shocked to death over there. That's pretty funny. Okay. That was a pretty good hit there. Okay. Uh, okay. Good, 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 good. That all went pretty well there, and uh, not uh, not too much problem. Now, uh, this is not I, I, an ideal team, obviously, it's because of the fact that uh, I'm running for friendship ranks. Oh, so now that we got that, uh, we can head back to Mondstadt. Then we'll head to the teapot, and we'll uh, and we'll go through uh, what we have available to us there. Okay. And uh, let's get our going, and let's check out what the what the housing looks like, because <laughs> there's been a there's been a lot of things that have happened. Um, so here we have the uh, the I the uh, what is this the cool aisle or whatever it's called. Okay, so see here we're rank eight. Cool. We're making our way to rank nine, where we get some other cool things here. Ooh, a fountain. Ooh, I want that fountain. That will be a nice fountain, uh, for sure. Okay, and uh, for the two places, we have 23,060 23, in the, uh, what is this? The floating abode one. And then we have 23,120 here in the uh, cool aisle. So we'll see uh, just how we how we stacked up uh, <laughs> the bizarre things that we have uh, active here. Um, and uh, let's see, we'll have to do our furniture first. Um, let's check on our furniture here, make sure everything's going well. So in another hour, we come back and get this guy. 
Um, I don't think we have any blueprints running. Um, so let's uh, let's check if we if we can buy any blueprints. Care? That will be nice. Uh, I can buy one. So let's buy. Um, let's buy these because these could be fun to have. Okay, good. And uh, one more thing for the for the books here. Okay, and then uh, let's go ahead and just to... uh, get that right away. Um, do I want to come back in an hour? Probably. Um, okay, so let's uh, go ahead and cancel one of these. Or, I've already spent a considerable amount of time on these guys. Um, let's just go ahead and get this, and then we'll come back. Um, okay, and then where is that gate? Or this thing, yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. One. There we go. Good. One more blueprint down. Perfect. And then let's make another one of those. Alright, and uh, let's see. Then, uh... Would you care to sit down? Or... Yeah, we've looked at those, looked at those, looked at those. Okay, so, um, if let's, you ever had let's any... take a, uh, a little tour here uh, through the editor of what's going on in, in the world. And this is the uh, the garbage dump over here. <laughs> uh, as you can uh, see, it's pretty dumpy. Um, let's see if this thing can go up here in any in any form or in any. Oh, oh my goodness! It can actually fit. This thing actually fits up here. Perfect. That's what I need. I need more of this stuff to fit in weird weird places. This is good. Okay, save that. Um, okay, so let's start. Uh, let's start here at the beachhead. Um, so here we have uh, all of the. How do I get rid of the this? There we go. Um, here we have all of the uh, mountains and the fortifications here to guard the uh, to guard the area. And you see here we have an extended all uh, lookout tower and. Uh, these are buttressed in such a way that you can't climb up the front of them, so you have to climb around the side. Hey, Dingo, thanks. <laughs> you like the rocks? Um, that's that's pretty fun. Rocks, rocks, rocks. That's right. And then on top of the rocks, we have another um, we have another watchtower with some uh, tea tea tables here, because we're in the teapot. Always got to have an, a lot of tables. Um, so it's cool that you can go into. Um, into the watchtower here uh, from the back and then you can look out these windows here on the sides and stuff and then uh, at night this is pretty cool because there's two lamp posts here that kind of light the entrance to come in and so you go through the the double entrance way here and then uh, you come into the main courtyard where we have these lanterns uh, everywhere so each statue is lit at night and you can walk through the colonnade here pretty nice and then uh, you have to go around one of the sides of the walls here and then you come to the front where we have a crafting bench and a forging bench so you can uh, do all of your um, um, building and whatever rocks and everything else that you need to do then we have a couple benches here we have a couple of uh, light fixtures here in the front as well to uh, aid your seaside watching and then here's another bench to look off into the into the great wide blue here. So very, very fun, very great uh, place to relax. Okay, so then if we go back to the middle island, this is kind of the, the, um, the pasture kind of where there's just really nothing happening. It's a very earthy kind of open air kind of feel. And uh, got another crafting bench here, obviously. Got to have crafting benches everywhere. Um, and it's just pretty open and there's a lot of animals in here. I think there's like seven or eight animals in this area. So you'll be running into cats, dogs, uh, pigs, cranes, all kinds of stuff and a couple of scarecrows here and there. But this is very just open and, uh, you know, where's the secret room? The mining room? <laughs> uh, I don't think I have a secret room. Um, let's see. 
um, whoops, back here, there's not really any secrets, but you can kind of uh, crawl up the back here in the middle, and there's there's not really anything secret about any of these areas. Um, in the other uh, map, there's a couple of secret areas, but uh, not, not in this one. But, okay, so then this is the garbage dump, uh, where I dumped all the rest of my outdoor things. Um, literally everything, every square inch of this place is filled, almost, with everything I could possibly get in here to <laughs> continue just dropping buildings and rocks and everything else. And then here on this one rock, I made an entire uh, mountain that, uh, that you can't climb. You can't actually get up this if you climb around it. Let me see if I can spin it here. Uh, and there's no way to actually climb up from the outside of this thing. Uh, so it's kind of a uh, one way up. And um, let's see if I zoom out here. And the only way up is to climb up this rock tower up to the top and then jump and fly over. And that's the only way to get up here. And then there's uh, this little outpost. You can s stand up there, another crafting bench, some tea uh, tables here as well for people to sit and eat. And then the uh, ever watchful guard here out over the sea so kind of neat that uh, this place exists only uh, it's like an upside down mountain that you would climb uh, in reverse <laughs> so kind of hilarious um, but that's nice that we were able to put this thing up on top here as well okay and uh, if you actually look at this uh, in in real scale it's uh, pretty wild um, oh good and it turned nighttime so you can see here don't waste my time. Whoops. You can see here if you're sitting down and just looking out over the ocean, it's uh, really peaceful and really nice. And you hear the, the waves splashing up on here. I wish there was a little bit of uh, like white surf that would come up on the, on the uh, ocean, on the sand here. But, uh, okay, so that was the outside. Let's uh, head inside real quick. And uh, we'll look at the mansion and then we'll take a journey through the... Uh, through the other areas. Um, okay, so here we have our guest reception desk um, and a couple of couches uh, for for just kind of like a greeting a greeting room area. A couple of pictures here on the wall and a doggo to meet you. You always uh, you always enjoy the doggo friend, so it's good to have him along. And then these are kind of uh, screened off here, so you have to kind of go to the different rooms. Here we have just like a uh, a, a, a a sitting work study kind of room where you can uh, think big thoughts with friends and you can sit and have a have a nice chat here and uh, you can pull out all the books you want and a nice grandfather clock to uh, tell you what time it is and everything so pretty nice pretty nice uh, little little sitting area here and uh, we got the pumpkin uh, the pumpkin light in here uh, then in the next room uh, this is kind of like the, the the bedroom area and I have a couple of uh, fire stoves here to keep me warm at night and such and a little couple of work uh, work desks and a, a nice uh, a nice office chair here to uh, do whatever work I need to do um, and then we have a, another just little sitting area here for myself when I'm in the in the bedroom okay then over here we have uh, another kitchen area just in case I get hungry after I got out of the other kitchen area and here we have an empty room so very nice I still have to place uh, things there. Here's the bulletin board of the uh, events of the day, of uh, things that are happening. So, kind of uh, necessary there to always pay attention to what's happening. A couple of decorations here on the wall too. Um, back here we have kind of the uh, the FBI has entered. <laughs> uh, is that is that really somebody that? Yeah, we have a guest. How nice. I don't know who FBI is, but that's okay. Um, I guess they're here to check out the house. And uh, so here we have just the uh, the sitting room area where you can have a lot of friends over. Everybody can get a nice comfy couch everywhere. And uh, it can be pretty nice overall. Uh, then if we head upstairs, um, it's kind of funny that uh, somebody actually joined the world. <laughs> uh, here we have uh, the green table and over here we have the brown table. So we have two different tables for people who might like different things. And then we have a bunch of bookshelves. Up, up here is more uh, of the uh, staff kind of quarters where people, where the uh, where the staff might live 
and uh, they have all the the cooking area and and a huge library so you can see we have wall uh, an entire huge wall uh, half of the mansion here is books so that way we can have a a, a good amount of uh, reading to be done well hello there friend good to see you I have no idea who this is but okay um, and uh, so that's the inside of this house um, so pretty nice uh, overall and if we go and look at the uh, actual upside down mountains and such um, it's uh, it's actually a lot of fun to see it in real scale so here you can see just how tall uh, everything is oh it's you <laughs> hi dingo I didn't know <laughs> I didn't know that was you <laughs> oh that's funny <laughs> Oh, uh, that's really funny. <laughs> that That's so good. I'm glad you uh, came to join me um, uh, here on the beach. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that uh, we got a second, um, second place to actually dump all the stuff. So it's pretty cool that when you get to rank 8, um, you're able to just go nuts and build an entire second world uh, basically immediately. So you can see that we're, we're really high up. Um, you wanted to scare me. <laughs> well, it was, it was a little more disconcerting more than anything else, so that was kind of funny. So, <laughs> thanks for joining. Uh, that was fun. I liked uh, I liked seeing your little Chichi there hop on a hop on a, a couch. Um, so you can see how just how uh, how this is kind of like you can see anything and everything all around coming from anywhere, and uh, being able to check on you know who's coming to if the FBI is on their way or whatever. <laughs> Uh, and then to get a, a view from this end, um, you can see how all the, the night lights light up at night. It's pretty nice to see the entrance and everything. And so that's the, uh, the bulwark front of the, uh, of the fortress there. Uh, so this is the second world that I've built. Uh, the, the first one was the hardest, obviously, because you had to get everything. But uh, building the second one is a lot more fun. So then over here we have just uh, a lot of randomly... Like, it's very wooded very earthy. Here's Mr. Crane. Hello. And uh, then we just have a bunch of animals, a bunch of open air stuff. Oh, there's a, a, a gray cat. Hello. And over here we have a doggo. And we have a pig. And another striped calico kind of cat. Um, and just a bunch of rocks. More sitting areas for tea. Uh, a well-lit uh, outdoor dining establishment here <laughs> by... Uh, by can uh, basically candle light from that street lamp. Got another doggo, uh, and uh, got a couple. I, I don't know where my orange cat went. I have an orange cat out here somewhere too, as well. Uh, a nice tabby. He's probably probably in one of the bushes here somewhere. Okay, and then we just have a bunch more stuff. You have your crafting bench, obviously, a weapons rack, and everything. Uh, um, another well in case you get thirsty, which I'm kind of getting a little thirsty. And a little adventure camp here, in case you want to sleep out under the stars. Another doggo. Uh, and then let's head over to the uh, garbage dump uh, for for this second island. Um, and uh, it literally is a dump because of just how uh, full and misplaced everything is. And here you can see the upside down mountain uh, coming into view ahead of us here. And how there's no possible way to actually climb up it. So, uh, we'll see uh, just how <laughs> just how ridiculous this thing is. But uh, once you get up there, it's a whole lot of fun because you can see everything from everywhere. So it's pretty cool that you can build these uh, these crazy uh, towers upside down, kind of in a way. And you see, there's no there's no way to get up from down here because there's always a ledge. Oops, there's always a ledge sticking out, and so you can't you can't climb up that way. So. Buildings, buildings, buildings everywhere down here. If you wanted to play hide and seek uh, with the uh, the event that just ended, the Wind Trace event, this would be a great place to play hide and seek um, because you could have uh, people running around and you wouldn't be able to find them. Oh, I'm gonna probably fall off. So let's get some uh, stamina here first, and uh, you could hide in almost any building everywhere. Uh, it would be a lot of fun to have four people and actually play uh, hide and seek in here. Okay, so let's see if we can climb up uh, here. Okay, I can't uh, go up, so I'd have to get venti or something. Uh, but you can see that uh, now that we're even level with uh, this rock formation, 
we can fly over and then we can hop up here and we have a stone mill we have a bunch of statues obviously more sitting area and then we have a uh, a wishful lookout to the ocean area so pretty nice that we can look out to the sea and see the moon at night kind of nice screenshot potential areas uh, over here and then we have this uh oops then we have this lookout tower which i uh, failed to jump up on oh okay i don't know if i can actually get up oh come on i'm stuck in it oh okay there we go and then i don't think i can get up to the second one unless i do some venti shenanigans here but uh, you can see that uh, you can you can see over through the through the pasture and you can see pretty far around uh, everywhere. So pretty pretty nice uh, little area here up on top of this upside down mountain. And then here you can see just the trash of everything that is <laughs> uh, just thrown around here. Uh, wildly white, wacky everything, everything just everywhere. I've got two open air forges and uh, just fruit fruit market galore down here. There's fruit fruit uh, baskets and and uh, fruit areas and carts and food and oh here's my newest dog uh this little puppo uh he's a he's a cute little pupper uh, a little black and brown really nice uh, colors there um and uh got a little fruit stand for him so he's never gonna go hungry he's always got food everywhere here Ooh, it's daytime now okay um so that's uh that's the uh the cool the cool aisle that we have here and uh let's see if I head back to here and then we'll, it's basically a double teleport back and forth and then we'll go to the other island and we'll go through a house tour there and then we'll head back to Kobe. Um, so building building the second uh, area was a lot of fun uh, just because I was basically given all of the, uh, all of the utensils that I built in the first place that I could use then in the second place to uh, completely um, do whatever I wanted. It was really, really nice. Would you care to so there was no like extra, extra purchasing or extra anything. It was literally just you, you got it and you buy it and uh, you can place anything and everything you want all over again. So here we are in the uh, first, first world that I had. Um, and I, oh, I do have a courtyard thing. Okay. Um, I'll probably put that. Um, I'll probably, I can't put it there. Probably put it up here. Uh, actually, we'll put it. We'll put it over here for no reason. Okay. Okay. So at the first uh, at the first island here, which is the third up, we've uh, been building some walls. And as you come up to the main mansion uh, from these stairs, you have to go through this doorway. And then uh, we have a little entrance entrance way here. And uh, we've got a wall all the way around, and when we get up to the fourth island, uh, all the way up here, um, we'll be able, we'll have a, a special, a special quiet, nice place up there as well. And I'm gonna probably put some more trees and stuff around in here to make it look a little more earthy and open, but I do need to buy a whole bunch more trees and stuff. Uh, oh, we do have a lot of things here to, to put down, okay, so that, we'll uh, pay attention to that. Okay, and then uh, for the middle island, uh, this one is kind of like a, a fortressy type of uh, an interesting place where the only way up into it is through uh, the main entrance here up the stairs, and you're greeted with uh, this kind of claustrophobic congested area. But there's a nice little uh, sitting area over here. Um, we have a crafting bench back here, which is kind of a, a secret little uh, back area here. And then back here... We have a, uh, whoops, uh, back here we have a little sitting area that you can come and uh, sit and think behind the big building here. And there's a little bit of a pathway back there, so it's kind of hidden, secluded. Um, now we do have another building, so definitely want to put uh, this building up here. And uh, we'll keep it, we'll put it right here. Perfect. Good. It's a little bit uh, floating pillars, but that's okay. Um, so we've got a little bit of a, a tree entrance here for you to kind of walk through like an arbor type thing. And then uh, 
we have the little underground uh, passageway through the tunnel here. We have a, a little hut off to the side here that you can enter and just kind of think, sit and contemplate, whatever. And then we have a uh, obviously a tea sitting area with a bench, a scarecrow to uh, scare the crows away, <laughs> and then uh, a couple of a couple of hilly troll uh, stuff up here, and then a uh, big house up on top of the mountain here. Now all this you can climb, you can access all of this. So very uh, very nice closed in kind of a border area here. Okay, and then the oops, and then the last uh, zone was the original island. And this has kind of like an adventure feel over here in this corner with some cityscape. And then uh, over here is like a uh, marketplace type area that we have uh, where you have the fruit stands, the, the mill, the forge, the crafting area, the kind of like a party thing, and then uh, some of the tea areas here. And uh, so then we have more buildings. And then we have a, a very tall uh, mountain piece here with uh, the crane and a little sitting area up on top here as well that we can uh, enjoy kind of uh, some tea and some night lights from these uh, lanterns here at night. And if you want to climb the trees and look out over everything, you can. So, and Mr. Crane here is uh, <laughs> just there for enjoyment. Okay, and uh, so this is this is the uh, second island that we have access to. So let's save this. I don't think I did, so, okay. And uh, go back one, two, and uh, we'll put the second um, watchtower over here. If I can place it. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and now we'll save that. Good. Okay, so we are running kind of out. We are kind of running out of uh, place to put stuff, and <laughs> uh, that's why you need the four islands. So I, I can't wait to unlock uh, tier 9 to get uh, the uh, fourth island there. So here's kind of a similar vibe here at the entrance, except a couple more cats and things. Um, a different layout of the house because this is the Mondstadt house. Uh, so a couple of pictures here. Here's like a reception desk and a nice, uh, a nice, very nice sitting chair uh, to receive everybody and anyone who you would want to have come in. Okay, and then uh, a little bit of a waiting room here for anyone that uh, is coming over to hang out in my bedroom. And uh, you can see here that uh, we have a, a little office area for all my accounting that I need to do to make sure I have enough uh, blueprints. Here's my orange cat. He's in here with me. He reminds me of a of a cat uh, that I used to know in my childhood. So really nice to have him here along with us. Okay, and uh, here's another orange cat. All the orange kitties, and then uh, a library of sorts. Um, and the nice thing again that uh, once you get to rank eight, you're able to literally just take all of this and dump it into a new place and do everything all over again so it's really really great that you can do that and then here we have like a kitchen so everybody can come and have a nice meal uh, we can all sit together there's a lot of seating in here and uh, whoever's going to cook for you they can even just sit and cook here at the stove so pretty nice um, for that okay so then we'll head upstairs Hubbard is getting excited there uh, more books more bookshelves um, and uh, just uh, some decorations around uh, not as crammed as the other house is and obviously there's no kitchens up here except this one and uh, just a couple more animals and such uh, than the other place inside so this house is a little more uh, homey and a little more for uh, my personal living and the other one is the beach house which uh, is more for like uh, vacation where i want to go and sit and uh, enjoy myself okay uh, so that's kind of the house tour of what we got going on here um, and you can see down from this uh, from this island, you can see down to the other two there, and how uh, and how those are built up, and everything with the uh, connecting islands here, and uh, how they how we've progressed from that first island over there to the second island here, to the third island here, and uh, we're not done yet because we got the fourth island up there in the distance, where we'll uh, be heading up there probably oh I don't know in a week or so. Um, after uh, we get all the blueprints uh, picked up and ready to go here with uh, with Teapot that? Boy. As you can see, he's in a much bigger teapot now than he was uh, previously. And we've got uh, 1,150 to go. So uh, that's, uh, I don't even know 
how many blueprints that Would is. Uh, 1,150 divided by 60, so that's 20 more blueprints we need um, in order to uh, get uh, fully up to level 9 here. And as you see, we still have we have the possibility for another 20 blueprints, so we've we've got more than more than enough here to uh, take ourselves all the way up um, to level 9. So okay, uh, now that we've seen we've seen this area, oh, let's check on our furniture one more time, and uh, then we'll then we'll finish up the house tour here. Uh, seven 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 fifteen. Okay, perfect. We're uh, we're good to go there. And thank you, Dingo, for your uh, speed up times. I know you're uh, <laughs> I know you're the one who's been doing that. So thanks, uh, huge thanks to you. Okay, um, okay. So we've seen all this. So great. Um, oh, and did I I didn't make my resin uh, yet. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and uh, now we're now we're good to uh, we're good to stop here, and let's head over to Code Vein now, and uh, we'll do the Astrea setup, and uh, we'll see we'll see just how that how that goes. Okay, so we'll go ahead and quit this per perfect. Uh, let's see this this this, and close this. Good, and let's head over to code vein now and I'll, the the screen will be all kinds of messed up until i reposition everything so um we'll uh, we'll get into it here and uh the build that we're going to be running is in the description there so if you want to kind of uh theory craft along with me before it even starts feel free um but uh that's a, that's a lot of fun uh in in genshin as of as of now is how the uh how the uh, craziness goes uh, for getting everything um, organized and what we have to do for for building and stuff uh, it, it really is a lot of fun oh and you saw there uh, we just crossed the thousand hours um here in this one save file which is kind of cool but we're over uh, like almost 1200 uh, overall so okay um let's see here uh we are going to head over yes, to let's see which depths map Just tell me where we're uh going. let's do the arachnid grotto and we'll see how this thing actually does and then we'll see if we can maybe hit up some uh co-op uh or maybe some different uh some different maps uh, as well okay. and uh what we're going to be running here um uh, let's see i need to change this from here to here Windowed. I'll be with you. There we go. Good. We'll move this. Do this. Do this. We'll bring this up. Okay. Good. Now we are set and ready to go. Hey, Demandre. <laughs> uh, have some cold water. That's right. <laughs> um, we just finished up the uh, house tour in Genshin, and uh, so now we're gonna be uh, experimenting with Estrella here, do which uh, we were requested to kind of put together a build, um, which is. Uh, uh, put together a build for Estrella as a bayonetting kind of a build, and uh, we'll see here just how it bayonets. And um, let's see, do we want to have EO? Sure, we'll have EO, and we'll open up. Uh, we'll open up the floor here if there's anyone actually um, adventuring in the depths anymore. I highly doubt it, but uh, if anyone is actually. Um, out there. Okay, so the whole point of this Estrella build is that uh, since you're bayoneting anyways, uh, you're going to run the Libertador, and then we're going to run the Charge Accelerator and Time Crunch and a Charge Booster, because if we if we are shooting and using Blood Sacrifice, we will be needing health back in order to use Blood Sacrifice with Cleansing Light. And so here, if we use our charge attacks, we will get uh, health back at least 10% every time, which will be great. We'll get uh, 300 health back every every uh, charge attack. But since we're running a bayonet anyways, where you need to have fast charge attacks, uh, it will be very, very beneficial to use a um, Hound's Veil. So the Black Vestment uh, is a uh, really, really good option here because of the fact that we're able to um, get really high light value for our uh, bridge to glory uh, while at the same time being able to get our health back on charge attacks so it works out uh, in the end and as you can see here we get some uh, good shots we have pretty good damage overall okay and uh, it's nothing uh, too incredible 
um, but uh, we are able to uh, do really good damage uh, with our weapon, as well as uh, oops, as well as um, getting health back for uh, charge attacks, oh, and while at the same time doing uh, actual um, actual charge shots with our bayonet as well. So we we have a, a lot of utility here along the way, and since we're running Astraea, we have access to Guardian Aid. So we will be able to uh, really help out our co-oping partners if we were going to be co-oping with, with anyone. Something so it, it, it can work out really, really well uh, in the event that we uh, need to uh, do any kind of co-oping. Sure, we'll pick up some uh, vestiges here. Very nice. And the nice thing about uh, having Guardian Aid is that if you do run uh, with co-op and, and the other person runs uh, Guardian Aid as well, you're you're totally able to uh, run full invincibility across the board uh, with your with your partner, so it can it can do very very well uh, overall. And uh, okay, we're out of uh, a lot of things here, so we're gonna have to go ahead and heal up and get some uh, some um, items here going for the fight. Good. Okay, and we'll definitely go for time crunch, and we'll go for. Uh, uh, all of the all of the items here. And we'll definitely go for a charge booster and a uh, drain activator. Okay. Let's not fall off the edge here. Ouch. Okay. And you can see that we can um, we can get really good charge uh, attacks on our blood veil as well as uh, as well as uh, actually using our bayonet, but. Uh, it, it really does fairly well uh, because the black vestment or crimson vestment, whatever, um, uh, or white vestment uh, is a pretty good slashing veil. Uh, it doesn't have extremely huge amounts of damage, but uh, it does, it, since it is a uh, hound's veil, it does have that uh, ability to knock down the enemies very easily and quickly just because of the fact that, uh, um, just because of the fact that we're able to hit the enemy twice, and on the second one, on the second strike of the Hound's Head, typically you have a knockdown for, uh, for your abilities. Okay, so let's go ahead and see here what we have. And because it's a, uh, a light veil, um, we're able to, uh, we're able to really, really put out, uh, some good damage on the enemy if we're running our, uh, blood veil, or running our weapon just to hit the enemy um, with the uh, with the Libertador. And if we are doing charge shots like this, we're still able to do uh, really good damage uh, in spite of everything else. So that that is also a, an added bonus. So we have uh, a lot of uh, um, a lot of damage. We have a lot of ability. We have a lot of uh, piercing damage. Whoops, whoops. Okay. And we also are able to get health back uh, whenever we need to, uh, such as that there. Uh, we're able to get our health back uh, mostly from what we were uh, losing. So that's really, really great that we have that option as well. So Estrella is a, um, a pretty interesting blood code to say the least. I mean, obviously it's a DLC thing that you get from, you know, uh, the, the pre-order and stuff. Um, but uh, if you do have access to it, it's a, a pretty good blood code uh, overall. It definitely is uh, nothing, you know, too ridiculous, but it's definitely um, interesting. Okay. And two bullets, and he's dead. Uh, so it still does uh, very well as a bayonet setup, um, while at the same time having really good um, damage on the physical end of it, while at the same time having good range, uh, good in-between footsies, uh, because the, uh, the, 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 bay uh, the Libertador uh, does have a, a pretty pretty quick uh, striking pattern overall. So pretty good stuff uh, for, for Estrella to run as kind of a uh, basic generalist kind of a setup and, and the run here. Um, but it's very different than the uh, building houses. Uh, this is a lot more cerebral than building houses. But uh, it's, a lot, it's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I'm really uh, I'm thankful for the idea here uh, to actually run Estrella. Uh, I think it was a, a good challenge to uh, see how this build, or how this uh, blood code actually operates, and uh, how you can make it actually useful and beneficial overall. 
Now we are running a little low on charge uh, boosters here, so that's kind of a problem, but we'll have to uh, play, play it safe here. Okay, this guy's gonna do this, so we'll go ahead and shoot. Oh. Okay, we got that guy. Now we can shoot hurt. Good. And because we have uh, um, huge, huge amounts of damage possible good? at every at every uh, possible uh, juncture, we're able to really hold our own regardless of what enemy we come up against. Ouch. And you can see there that uh, we're able to um, take the hit and continue on going through it, no problem. And since we're a little low on health. We'll go for a charge, charge attack, and we're right back up to full health almost. So really, that? really good stuff. With all these builds, you're pretty sure you'll find a way to permanently kill a lost. <laughs> oh, you never know, man. You just never know. Uh, there would be um, probably a way, I would imagine, uh, if you kill them enough times, right? Uh, their memory is uh, gone, so uh, keep that in mind. Ouch. Okay. So we'll definitely go for launches here, where we can, okay, and we'll go for another launch, just because I don't want the uh, time to run out there, good, okay, and uh, we can go for a, a little bit of, uh, oops, uh, damage here, okay, and we'll go for a charge attack, ouch. And we'll shoot her in the face. <laughs> we'll shoot this guy. Oh. There we go. Good. And a backstab. Bullying the lost. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're going to bully everyone uh, with this setup. Let's just go ahead and give uh, Eo some uh, guardian aid there. Uh, so she's able to, uh, you know, do really, really what good stuff uh, in her defenses there. And since we're, uh, since we're able to get our health back here, uh, we're uh, definitely going to take advantage of it. And that was the, uh, that was the invasion, and it kind of didn't even feel like an invasion. Um, this actually operates very, very well because of the uh, charge shot synergy between both the, um, both the bayonet and and your uh, ability here to uh, do really good damage with bridge and uh, having you know, access to a whole lot of abilities overall, and uh, you can see here that, uh, I mean, two shots for these guys is kind of a joke. That's four i to uh, run these guys down, and uh, four i at this point is kind of a joke because we get six back from uh, uh, blood, uh, blood Sacrifice, and so we will always have a chance to, um, we will always have a chance to get uh, Bridge going and uh, Time Crunch, and since we have our Charge Boosters as well, we're able to really, really do good stuff um, with our charge attacks and with our um, drain attacks. So good, good things all, all over the place. Okay, and as we run in, we can uh, do some shots here. Okay, and as we uh, run over here, we'll go for a charge and just get some uh, I core and health back. And uh, that's 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 this guy. <laughs> very nice, very fun, very simple, very easy. Uh, I do particularly like uh, Estrella because of Guardian Aid. I think it's a really, really great gift. Um, I just wish it had a little more utility being used by other gifts as well, because that would be just an incredible, uh, probably the best gift in the entire game to actually use in a co-op sense. But unfortunately, it's locked to Estrella, so that's, that's what it is. Eo will always be your number one. Yeah, she, uh, she's, she's really good. Uh, she's definitely in the top tier. For sure. Where's Butter? Stop hiding, you coward, and face me. I don't understand. <laughs> I sense danger but uh, I, I would imagine since you're the knife for Butter, uh, that's why you're looking for him. Or her, or whatever. But, uh, okay. And uh, we'll go for a couple of these things here. Good. And we'll do this. And we'll head on in for uh, the, the worst of boys here. Okay. Okay. And we'll just uh, go ahead and shoot this guy. There we go. <laughs> oh man, you just love to see it. You just love to see it. Okay, cool. I guess right there with butter knife. Perfect. Those you six nickels. Oh. Well, that's 30 cents. 
Okay, and uh, let's head back to home base. Uh, so, uh, good good drink of water there. Okay, so um, you can see how this uh, how this setup here with um, with uh, EO is pretty uh, pretty good. And uh, let's go to Silent White uh, since we'll have to fight uh, some pretty hard enemies in here. Thoughts on Yakumo's amazing powers? Um, I think the only thing Yakumo has going for him is uh, first playthrough and foul blood barrier. Beyond that, he's an absolute zero. Uh, so we'll we'll open this back up to the floor again, and uh, let's go in order from left to right. I uh, really do not enjoy Yakumo past playthrough one uh, in any kind of fashion or sort of way, unless you are literally going for um, unless you're literally going for uh, uh, foul blood barrier in in a certain kind of a way. And other than that, um, he's just an absolute garbage can. Um, he gets he gets slapped around all the time, so I, I don't particularly enjoy him. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. Yakumo is a tall glass of water. <laughs> uh, Yakumo is uh, he is a good-looking boy, that's for sure. Okay, and uh, here again, you can. You bring him for the lore. <laughs> okay, that's that's fine. I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with uh, bringing Yakumo. Um, I just I just particularly for me in particular, I just don't uh, don't enjoy him. Uh, like I said, because I'm more into the utility of the characters of, of the game rather than uh, anything else. Um, that's that's where uh, I t typically, um, you know. Hang my hat, so to speak. But uh, he is—he is definitely number one boy for uh, your first playthrough. Uh, there is no one uh, on that first playthrough. My goodness, if you uh, don't take Yakumo, uh, you're—you're you're definitely playing uh, the game wrong, <laughs> in in that sense. Okay. Oh shoot, and we're gonna lose uh, a ranged impact here, so we'll definitely wait for that. Good. Okay. And as we head in. Okay. Oh, the ball hit us. Oh, and he hit us. Okay. And maybe we can uh, get this boy. Here we go. Okay, and good. Okay, so uh, number one boss down. Now the second boss will be exceptionally difficult because it'll be Boreal Brute Boy, and uh, we don't have any fire damage. So that'll be kind of an issue, but I guess we could change out bridge for a uh, flame weapon, but uh, that's okay. He's flatter than butter knife. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I don't really have any comments about that because it's irrelevant. I'll let Demandre handle uh, <laughs> handle those comments. Uh, be our mascot. Um, sure, butter knife. I don't. I don't even know why we're talking about butter knives. Uh, kind of hilarious, but whatever. Uh, we'll we'll leave that alone. And uh, you can see, as a uh, as a bayoneting uh, setup here, it actually works uh, pretty well overall. Now we do need a little bit of eye force, so we'll go for some backstabs here and such to make sure that we're up as high as we can uh, get here. Oh, good job, Eo. And uh, again, since we have time crunch and charge booster and everything available to us at all times, basically, we're able to um, we're able to really, really uh, do well on our um, charge attacks and our uh, drain attacks all at the same time without sacrificing one thing over another. Ouch! Except for this boy. Wow, that really, uh, that really put us down, <laughs> put us down hard. Okay, and we'll go for another charge attack. Oh, come on, Eo. Okay, I guess uh, Eo's just gonna do everything here for us, and that's okay by me, as well. But I shall accept my proposal in exchange for admitting that fantasy. 
I don't really have any comments on the matter, so you do with that what you will. Um, I don't uh, take any exchange for for anything. Uh, okay, and uh, let's go for let's go for this boy, and we'll definitely. Uh... Oh, we're dead. And that's what you get for going for a shot at the beginning. Thanks, Eo. Come back, Eo. Okay. And we definitely need to heal here. And until uh, Big Boy here is uh, ready to give up the ghost. There we go. Okay, and we'll go for some charge attacks here. Okay, good. We got a bunch of health there, so that was great. Okay, let's go for some shots here while we can. Oh boy, now we're in for it. Okay. Okay, uh, this is not going to go well. Um, let's see here. We'll definitely need... Um, okay, we'll need bridge going sure and uh, you'll see our our shots here only do a few a uh, few hundred damage or whatever and uh, this is ouch he touched us <laughs> oh yo no I'm I'm your calm calculating mastermind I would never say such a thing that's that you're you're ac actually correct on that um, so <laughs> uh, you're actually correct you hate the Boreal Brute? Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, switch out Bridge for a uh, Flame Weapon um, in order to uh, actually uh, get him down past his uh, uh, Ice Armor there, unless we uh, unless we are so lucky to actually uh, stop him from transitioning all the time, which is really, really difficult. So I don't think that's gonna be the case. Oh, go away, Doggo. Now, I did like the Doggos in uh, Genshin Impact when we were doing the house tour. But I don't like the doggos here, <laughs> for good reason. Um, you hate the burial brute. Uh, yeah. Uh, what else are you guys saying here? Uh, these guys were your bane during your first playthrough. Yeah, I <laughs> think you, you can you can uh, die to these guys in kind of a uh, death loop spiral. It's uh, it's definitely uh, difficult. They are definitely a very good enemy to have in the game because they do uh, really really bad things to you. <laughs> okay. And uh, let's go for these and this. Good. And hopefully we can get a couple of uh, charge attacks or backstabs to uh, go for some abilities here. Okay. Whoa. Hold on there, Twinkle Toes. Okay. Oh boy. There we go. Okay, let's go for a charge attack. Good. And let's go for some shots now. Good. Okay, let's go for some I-Core. Okay, and let's go for a charge attack. Oh, we're dead. Oh, thanks, Eo. Okay, and let's get over there and uh, burn down his uh, ice armor. Okay. Whoa. There we go. And uh, let's see here. Let's go for this and this. Okay, let's go for some shots. Whoops. Okay, now uh, we'll try and go for some charge attacks here. Oh, he's knocked down. Okay, perfect. That was uh, that was a better a better run there than last time for sure. And uh, I guess we'll keep flame weapon instead of bridge to glory, uh, just for just for here in the uh, silent white. So that's the nice thing is that since you are able to, um, I guess we'll just teleport back uh, since we don't have a huge amount of I core, so we're, we're okay. You bring almost every fire, fire skill to deal with them or trick them into falling off a cliff. Falling off the cliff is the most fun way to uh, deal with them for sure. Uh, just because of the fact that uh, they're they're definitely overwhelmingly difficult. Uh, and to to get rid of them quickly and easily is, is exceptional. I highly agree with that logic. Hey, Zom Master. Yeah, <laughs> you hate those guys. Everybody hates those guys. Uh, I, I think... <laughs> I think everybody hates them. They're just uh, really difficult um, in a lot, a lot, a lot of ways. Okay, so as we 
head in here now. We will uh, fight two of them at once uh, for for the fun of this area. <laughs> uh, so if you guys are out there in PC and you're in uh, Silent White, feel free to join. This is uh, not anything uh, spectacular here. We're just going for um, Hey, I'm Screed. Uh, his uh, request for um, Estrella build, and uh, this is kind of a, uh, a a way to make it happen. Okay. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Now this is uh, sad that we can't uh, do any of the uh, one shot kill here with both of them. Oh, that guy's already loaded up on his uh, armor there, so that's really bad. Here, EO has some ice armor, or fire weapon. Oh boy. Okay, good. There we go. Oh, he hit me again. Yeah, we got a backstab. EO, how you doing? She looks like she's doing okay over there. Let's go for some shots. Oh, where did this guy come from? Thanks, EO. Oh boy. Okay, Twinkle Toes there is going nuts. Good. Um, okay, this guy is coming. No. They're both going after EO. Okay. Here you go, EO. Good, and we'll go for this guy now. Okay. Oh, no. EO, please. Oh, too late. Too late. <laughs> this is getting out of pan now. There's two of them. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is going to be kind of rough, and this is why this uh, this test set right is so uh, good to check, um, because if you do really well in one way and then uh, really bad in another way, is it still worth going for? And I think this build is uh, actually still worth it, um, even though uh, it may not perform, um, you know, exceptionally well versus two of these guys, because uh, typically you don't fight two of these guys except here in the Silent White, so. It's kind of a, a unique special case of uh, whoops, of of this build and uh, of oh get out of here, doggo. Um, it's kind of a unique special build of what uh, we have going for this area in particular. So yeah, kind of keep that in mind as we go through uh, this set here. Okay, and as we go in, obviously we'll try and get ourselves as much things as going here as possible. Backstabs are normally how you stop them from activating their armor. Yeah, uh, it's uh, very difficult to uh, actually get that timing down on the backstab, but if you can, that is absolutely the best way to go about it. Just because of the fact that, uh, oh, he's going to do that. Oh, oh no. Hey, we pulled him out of his roll. That was sick. Okay, and uh, let's go for some shots here. Okay. okay, and he's gonna roll, that's fine, good, okay boy, and we'll uh, backstab this fella a little bit here, good, and Eo's gone, so now Eo's back, oh, we're dead, Eo, please, thank you, okay, let's, uh, wow, that was, uh, oh no, Oh boy! <laughs> I w I knew he was coming from behind there. <laughs> I was like, "Oh no, this is gonna be bad." Uh, but this is a far cry, a huge far cry from the uh, dual one shot uh, ability that we had uh, previously on these boys. Um, but now that our haze is held held hostage here in this arena, uh, we have to. Uh, we have to beat these guys. <laughs> What's really sick is shooting the successor of the breath in midair. <laughs> yes, uh, that is one of the most fun things to do. And uh, let's see, uh, th that was uh, that was today, wasn't it? We shot him out of the air uh, in the Road to 100. That was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> and uh, it was great to see him go up and then uh, come back down immediately. Those, those are always so much fun. Okay, and it's still really dry, so my throat is, like, really scratchy, so sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, that was today? Okay. Cool. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Eo, good luck to you. 
Maybe we should both go after the same guy. And just leave this guy alone. Oh, I haven't hit anybody. There we go. Oh my. So these guys, um, they go into ice armor mode when, when, oh, when they, uh, get focused. So this guy will be transitioning here, uh, pretty soon if we don't, uh, stop him from his, uh, his abilities here. Okay. And I couldn't get the backstab. Okay. Oh, come on. Why is that guy throwing it at me? He shouldn't be throwing it at me. What in the world? Okay. Is he throwing it at me? I hope not. Okay. Wow. This guy. No! Don't throw it at me! Why are you throwing it at me? You have your own person to fight. Ugh. Okay. Here we go. Oh my goodness, why are they throwing it at me? Please stop. My goodness. Throw it at your own your own self. Okay. Okay. Oh. I got you, EO. Now you've got more armor. Why is that thing throwing it at me? Please stop that. Okay. Oh my goodness. Why are they both over here? <laughs> uh, would you, would you guys stop? Yeah, we got a backstab on this guy. Okay, here we go. Okay, dude, you need to stop that, really. Oh, Eo, please. Thank you. I'll give it right back. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we only got that guy halfway. Oh. Wow. I don't know why they were teaming up on me uh, both the whole time there. Um... Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go for White Mia. Uh, so we both get uh, double gift extension and we get uh, double guardian aid. So this will be maybe a little better way to stabilize our defenses here. Uh, we'll see. Mia is probably going to get slapped around though pretty hard. Um, so we'll see here just how it goes. But she does have fire um, where Eo does not. So uh, that'll be a little bit better. By any chance, do these enemies have another weakness like poison or blood? Um, that's a really good... Uh, they they are... You can poison them, um, but uh, I don't know about uh, their their blood percentage. Um, oh, good grief. This stupid dog. Uh, so we will we will check that here uh, in just a second, and uh, we'll, we'll get the deets here for you, um, because uh, it is important to know... Uh, what you're going into. I always just go for fire, obvious reasons, but uh, uh, I haven't... Uh, I think they do have a blood weakness, um, or they're neutral to blood, um, if I remember right, but lightning, they are they are weak to lightning, if I remember right from my initial testing, but I'll... I, oh, but I haven't... Uh, oh, Mia's dead. But I haven't uh, gotten them uh, written down on my paper yet. Oh, boy, they're both here now. How excellent. Okay. Go for it. Okay. Okay. Okay, come on. Mia, don't die. Okay. Yeah, Demandre, I did, I did think it was interesting that uh, you could go for... Um, you could go for lightning against these guys and be okay. Um, it would be it would be fine to go for lightning against them, which is weird. You, you know, I mean, you don't think about that particularly. Oh come on! Oh my goodness, why is that guy over here? What? Okay, that was odd. Okay, good. 
please. Okay, backstab. There we go. Oh my goodness, come on. Oh, they're both over here, of course. Why are they both over? Why would they both be over here? I mean, come on. Oh, of course, I can't get out of range. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. And heal. Since they're both over there fighting Mia for whatever reason. Of course. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't see what's going on with him twirling around so much. Oh. Okay. Oh, and I'm dead. Okay. My goodness. This guy armored up? He is armored up. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on. Uh, thanks, Mia. Okay, let's... Oh, stop throwing those at me. What in the world are these guys all about? They just... Uh, they just ignore all the reasons. <laughs> uh, these two put the blade-bearing cannon into the shame. They sure do. Uh, okay, Mia, you, you were a good run. I think we are... Uh, back to um, EO here because uh, EO will at least um, do a little bit of things who thought it was a good idea to fight them both <laughs> uh, Bamco did they, they said you know what will uh, really be a good a good uh, test of a, of a revenant's ability is uh, is if we uh, make them two at once here and put them in a small arena with uh, no ability to do anything and uh, <laughs> You just have to literally um, do it all right in front of them, and it's like, oh, uh, come on, why? But but it is a good test of you know how good your blood code is and your build, um, which is why uh, this is important to kind of see here uh, what we can do. Okay, good. And we'll go for a couple of things here. It, not like it's gonna matter too much. Okay. There we go. The enemy is literally balanced around only having to fight one. Yes. And as you can see here, these guys are just... Uh, and they tag team back and forth. Like, they they know that, uh, that one of them is fighting somebody else, and then they turn tail and uh, attack the other one. So it's kind of, like, ridiculous in that way that they, uh, they don't stay uh, targeted onto uh, one or the other. They switch any time and every time uh, they want. Oh my goodness, that was a lucky backstab. Wow. See, why is this guy over here now? When Eo was fighting this guy. Oh, come on. Somehow I got a backstab. And this other guy is still fighting me. Oh, come on. Thanks, you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, why? <laughs> what? Uh, these guys just don't make any sense. <laughs> uh, oh, we almost had him there, and we even stopped him from his armor several times. Uh, let's go ahead and send the distress signal again, not like it's going to matter, because nobody's playing the depths anymore, ever. Okay. And uh, we almost had that one guy there, but then Eo decided to come over and bring the other guy over, but then he decided to stop fighting Eo and come over. Uh, when when they attack me, is it slash or crush? Um, from what I know, uh, when they attack you, it's uh, typically ice um, and slash. Uh, so if you're, um, if you're able to um, do ice armor, obviously, you can be pretty much invincible the whole time, but you do need a very, very high slash uh, resistance from what I remember. Um, now, don't take uh, don't take me on that 
uh, to the bank here because that's just uh, based on kind of some basic testing I was doing uh, a while ago, uh, which it's been a while since I've uh, worried about these guys because I was trying to go for um, the uh, double one shot. And that was a, while, a long while ago. Okay, yo, stay on your guy and I'll stay on my guy. Oh. Oh, uh, why? See, now, why is he over here? Why? Why did that guy, Oh my goodness, why did that guy even come over here? Uh, that's why it's so ridiculous, because their, their AI can switch targets at any time. Like, they have no priority one over the other. They just literally attack whatever um, is in front of them. And as you're focused on one of them, the other one uh, comes out of nowhere and literally one shot kills you. Uh, which is why it's so ridiculous. Uh, but here we go. Now I could go and uh, do the other boss of the area <laughs> and then come back and do these guys and uh, we would still be <laughs> stuck on this guy. So uh, we just have to get through it. Oh man. Here we go. Let's calm my emotions. Okay, thanks you. Good, good, good advice there. Here we go. Okay. And let's go for these so we're charged all the way up. And uh, it would be nice if uh, one of them would uh, stay fighting me and uh, the other one would stay fighting you. But it's not the case because these guys are ridiculous. Okay, do that. Ouch. Dang, dude. Settle, settle, settle. Why, why is that guy hitting me? Oh man, another luck. Why is that guy even throwing them at me? Stop! What are you doing? Oh, why? Why are they both fighting me? Now they're both fighting Eo. Oh, this makes no sense. Okay, now that guy's gonna throw at me for for no good reason. Okay, and let's just in case he's throwing at me. Yep. Come on, <laughs> why? Okay. Uh. Okay. Oh my goodness. These guys. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, man. Defeat is not the end. I know, Eel. Memory loss is the end. You're right about that. Okay, and I just don't understand why they don't uh, stay on one target. Uh, it's just, it's just so frustrating um, how they, how they uh, switch targets back and forth because of just the fact that uh, you're not able to do enough damage with this setup here to actually do what you need to do uh, in the limited amount of time that you need to do it, so... Uh. But at least Doggo doesn't uh, provide uh, too much risk here for us. And then I get hit by the Doggo, so... <laughs> uh, here we go. Here we go. Now, uh, we are doing pierce damage and uh, slash damage on our um, weapons, so that's kind of nice. Okay, and uh, it's nice having uh, two different kinds of damage overall. Alright, EO, let's go. Alright. Let's go after this fool. Whoa, that was a lucky uh, dodge there. Good, we got him off of his ice armor. Okay, now if he will stay over there, that will be nice. Good. Yeah, Twinkle Toes, you need to stay over there. Keep dodging Eo. Okay. And why is that guy throwing that at me? I don't know, but here he comes. I have to dispatch this guy quick. Oh, come on. 
stupid idiot. Oh my goodness, why? Ugh. Okay. Oh, we missed each other. Oh my goodness, why? It just doesn't make any sense at all. It just doesn't make any sense. That guy was like hardcore going after EO. And then he was like, you know what? My friend is getting hurt. I'm going to just wander over there and I'm going to disrupt the entire fight and be done with it. And it was like, good grief, man. Like, would you just stick on your one guy that you need to fight? Uh, uh, okay. We're getting a little tilted here. Uh, as you can imagine. <laughs> oh, but I do like this setup. I do like the build. Um, I think it was a good idea. Uh, I think it was definitely a good um, use of uh, Estrella overall. Just because of the... Wow, well, that doggo flew across here. Uh, just because of the fact that you're able to um, really get some good damage overall while having some good co-op ability as well. So we should uh, pre, uh, pre-heal Eo. So that way uh, she's up and ready to go here with uh, max defenses before uh, anything ha actually happens in the fight here. So maybe that'll maybe that'll help us. Wish there was a blood code that allowed unmanned combat or unarmed combat. Yeah, uh, unarmed combat would be absolutely wild here uh, with this stuff, um, just because of the fact that uh, you know everything's so combat based. Uh, it would be weird uh, for sure. I missed uh, to see like you know fists and stuff. That would be definitely interesting. Okay. Now he's focused, so he's gonna transition. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Okay. Now, uh, the other guy is gonna come creeping over here. I'm sure of it. Okay, and he's throwing stuff at us again. And who knows why that is. Just fight Eo, man. Would you just fight EO, please? Good job, EO. You knocked off his armor. For some reason, this guy's still going after me. Okay. Okay. Wow. There they go again. Let's go for a fire weapon. EO, please stay alive. Now they're both going after you. Okay. Okay, good. Get rid of that ice armor. There we go. Okay. Oh, come on. Why? Oh, why? Why? Oh, come on. Come back, you. Yeah, they're all gonna do this crap. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. <sighs> oh man, it's just, it's just impossible. <laughs> uh, and this is why uh, when you run in with a dark mage set and uh, you just absolutely rip through these guys, uh, it just becomes a joke. Okay, and uh, instead of doing this, let's go for Radiant Barrel. Um, okay. And uh, that'll be a little bit of a switch here that uh, we can hopefully um, put these guys down here at some point. And uh, because we're able to get uh, a knockdown at least with uh, Radiant Barrel, hopefully it'll give EO maybe some time to, to do something. as uh, she just kind of runs around doing nothing, uh, which is kind of weird. Uh, she did uh, take off his ice armor there one or two times, uh, so we'll we'll see we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but Estrella is uh, definitely taking a beating here. Okay, and we'll give Eo some health there. We'll go ahead and heal, get some more Icor, and go for this and this, and uh, she probably won't die in the next eight seconds. So we'll uh, we'll keep it going as it is there. Good. Okay, yeah, throw your icicles. Oh, uh, I'll die. Never mind. Well, at least we got our haze, and then they both bullied EO into the corner.
<laughs> oh my goodness, you just you just hate to see this. <sighs> I don't know why I picked Silent White. Why did I do this? Why in the world did I pick this? Okay. Oh, I hope you guys have uh, maybe better things to do <laughs> than watch uh, Silent White over and over here. But uh, we'll definitely we'll definitely get it. Um, it's just may not be in the next attempt. <laughs> okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. We can do it. We can do it. At least our haze is right here in front. Okay, and here we go. And we'll pre-prep Eo, which is nice that we can do that. And since she has a blade of blood going and everything, she should be uh, pretty close to invincible here. Uh, so that's nice. And hopefully we can uh, get a good run here. Okay, that's good. Okay. There we go. Got a backstab. That's at least something. Okay. And uh, maybe we can go for some hard shots here. Oh, come on. Oh, why is that guy throwing stuff at me? What? Uh, I don't... I, what? <laughs> why? Why? Uh. Alright, I'm tired of these guys. Okay. Time to literally pull out the big guns here. Okay. And we'll get rid of this crap. Okay. And we'll go for this. And Libertador, Let's yes, yes, work. yes. Uh, no strength and willpower. Uh, Dex and mind. No, we'll go for mind and willpower. Okay, this is blood sacrifice deck. Uh, this is ranged impact. Good, good. Um, here. Better than neglecting your equipment, I guess. Yeah, this is good. Uh, this is gonna be this. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, okay. Cool. All right, Jack. Let's go. And hopefully this goes well. <laughs> uh, it'll probably be Wait. just as painful as what we've been doing, um, but uh, at least we have a good chance of actually making it happen. Okay. And this is just to uh, preload on Icor here uh, for uh, for Jack. So uh, we don't need to worry about Doggo here. Uh, which is nice, that we can just uh, run past. Not a problem. And it's good that our haze is over on the right, because we have to go to the right anyways. Or at least uh, one of the directions. Okay. Good. Okay. And one more. And uh, let's see. Uh, we'll heal. We'll go Jack. Okay. Good. And then this. And one more. Good. Okay. And one more. This. One more. Okay. There we go. And then this to here. Good. Okay. And. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, and we lost. Oh, rip haze. <laughs> 60 million haze, goodbye. Uh, okay. Jack, you you are absolutely doing Jack things. Why did I think I could count on you? Lost. Uh, Jack, you cost me big time. You you are the Jack of all Jacks. Uh, okay. Whatever. We will uh, ignore that. And we'll just ignore our haze loss. <laughs> I knew it would happen sooner or later, but I didn't think it would be so ridiculous. Jack, I don't want to talk about the last fight, you jerk. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal. Okay. And hopefully Jack can uh, do his uh, do his best here instead of being a, a jerk. Oh man. Okay, we'll get rid of uh, we'll get rid of these guys, and then we'll. Hopefully, continue on with Australia here. But uh, this is definitely a downfall of of the code, <laughs> for sure. Okay, is that uh, we are 
unable to do these guys while while discussing uh, everything that's going on here. Okay, there we go. Gonna just say goodbye to those guys. Ugh, don't want to do that again. And let's let's head back. <laughs> Uh, that's how it should go. It should just be a one shot and move on with your life. But uh, we had to go and check out Estrella and do all the Estrella things. So uh, at least we were able to have some fun there with that thing. Okay, charge booster. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, don't need this, so we'll go for this. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Uh, at least that's over. Okay, now we've got two of these other idiots. That are, uh, I don't want Jack. I definitely don't want Jack. Are you kidding me? And now we can actually move on uh, with uh, <laughs> with our lives. Ugh. I really hated that fight. Uh, that that was definitely um, that was definitely a uh, a uh, bad way to go into that fight there uh, with what we had previously. So we'll just ignore that and uh, leave it where we're at here. Okay, so we'll we'll ignore what, uh, we'll ignore the cheat we had to do there, and uh, we'll, we'll continue on. So, Mr. Mani, you just loaded in and see me yeah. do do both both Hedgehog Boys at once. Yeah, that's, that's what we should be doing, but uh, you missed the uh, hour or whatever uh, previously of us going for them uh, with the Straya here, so. Yeah, uh, I'm glad you uh, caught the uh, good parts there, <laughs> as opposed to the really, really horrible part. So, yeah, welcome to the stream. <laughs> uh, yeah, the that that is that is the way that you uh, go about beating them as a uh, as a team kill, uh, because it's oh come on, because it's uh, it's really, really strong and it's really, really fun to uh, to beat both of them in one shot. Uh, because you talk about one-shot builds for bosses and stuff, well, killing two enemies at at once is uh, is a lot of fun to go for a uh, to go for a, a one-shot kill, in in my opinion. Whoops, I didn't want to heal. Okay, I guess we'll go for the big boy here. Yeah. Hey, Red. Uh, welcome, welcome uh, to the nonsense here. Uh, we are. Running Estrella, uh, the build is in the description there, and uh, we were uh, requested that uh, can Estrella be a good bayonetting build, and uh, what would I recommend for it? And uh, from what we've seen so far, it's been uh, pretty pretty decent. Uh, we just had a really 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 bad run of uh, of luck there with uh, with the uh, Oriole brutes, the two of them, uh, but we had and we had to uh, employ some uh, shenanigans. Uh, with our uh, one-shot setups to make sure that we uh, are able to uh, kill these guys. Uh, and that was really, really unfortunate that we had to spend about, like, 40 minutes or whatever on them. Whatever the length of time was, it was way too long, which is what it uh, should not be. Okay, now we got this boy. Okay. Good, we get some health back there. But you can see that as a uh, bayoneting, uh, adventuring setup, uh, this this uh, s setup actually does pretty well overall. Uh, I still am a fan of it, even though for the Boreal Brutes, it was definitely like the worst thing we could be doing. Um, but uh, we were able to make it out of there uh, okay. Okay, let's go for a charge. Okay, we'll go for uh, time crunch and get more charge attacks, and we'll get more health back. Okay. Okay, you. Alright. But how you been, how you been, Red? How you been, Mr. Monty? You guys been doing well? We get the brandy for, um, Yakumo back at home base. And if you do have Estrella, I definitely would, uh, recommend this. Oh, and Red, uh, guys, you also missed, uh, losing 60 million Haze, so that was a, a sad, uh, run there. With the uh, Boreal Brutes, <laughs> they're definitely uh, annoying as ever. Okay, and we'll go for Charge Booster and Drain Activator. And then we will be able to uh, run up on these boys. No, I'm stuck on his body. Good. 
just been busy with work and such. Yeah, same here. Uh, nothing, you know, nothing too overwhelming, but uh, definitely, uh, you know, definitely work. <laughs> There's his leaping strike there. Oh, that guy got me. Alright, and uh, now we'll have to go for some uh, charge attacks here. Ooh. There we go. And then we can go ahead and shoot this guy down. So you can see that, uh, you know, that's uh, that's just how, how it can go there, uh, pretty simply. Um, but uh, if you're running the Boreal Brutes, it's just, it's brutal. <laughs> Uh, Venge my haze. Yes, I'm going to. Um, I will definitely spend another two playthroughs or whatever building it back up, but that's okay. Uh, we we have 457, 458,000, so we have enough to uh, buy what we need to do what we need for um, getting all of our uh, items. Uh, and why that's important for me, I mean, it's like, what are you going to spend your haze on? Well, we still need a whole bunch of chromes. Uh, because we have a whole bunch of items here that we need to be getting um, that we need to be getting items for all of our people back at home base because we don't have one of every blood veil yet uh, as you can see the thorn veils are very very lacking I don't even have 13 of the queen slayer thorns so you need 13 of each item in order to completely max everything in the game uh, which is what I, one of my goals uh, with the road to 100 obviously uh, so it'll be It'll be a while before that actually happens, which is why I do need, um, which is why I do need the haze, uh, overall. So, yeah, take that for what it is. I'm just, uh, anal about it. Okay, and as we go into Nicola here, uh, this should be pretty fun, uh, overall. Okay, and, uh, we can, uh, go for some, uh, health there. Oops. Good job, you. Okay, now that we're uh, full up on Icor here, let's go ahead and shoot the boy. He's gonna go down into stagger here any second. There we go. Perfect. It's just uh, just a shooting gallery here. <laughs> nice. Okay, and let's uh, go for this. And, uh, there we go. Whoa, he's flying. He be flying. There we go, we'll get some Icor. And when he lands, we'll go for a charge. Good. Whoa, he's going for Eo, I guess. I did not expect him to go for Eo. Nice. Now, these bullets are pierce damage, so that's why he does stagger uh, every now and then off of the bullets. Uh, because we are doing pierce damage uh, with the bullets. And you can see that Nicola is actually way, 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 way easier than uh, the Boreal Brutes put together. Um, and that is why this build is so strong for actual adventuring and or bossing. It's just the Boreal Brutes are uh, really, 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 really devastating. So we went through everything, two, two depths maps, like, like super easy. Um, but, uh, the Boreal Brutes, they are just absolutely overwhelming. Um, so let's, uh, let's go run, uh, the Cathedral Invasions. Oh, whoops, I don't want to switch. And, uh, you can see also another, uh, display of how, of how this, um, of how this, uh, build and setup, uh, works pretty well. Because the uh, Cathedral Invasions are another great, um, opportunity to test yourself on whether or not, um, it's an actual good build or not. And uh, if it is a good build, you can actually survive these invasions pretty well. Uh, and if it's a pretty poor build, then uh, you'll get uh, toasted uh, basically instantly. Okay. And uh, we'll go up on all of our items here just because uh, this lady is uh, annoying. Okay, so there's two. Hey, we go. And we got a revenant. How nice. And so it's uh, Eo and myself and a third revenant. So we'll we'll see here how we do with um, with uh, three of us in here. So we'll see if their uh, connection can hang with the uh, uh, if their connection can hang with the um, uh, uh, with the stream here. So hopefully 
Hopefully it can, and it doesn't go uh, go down. Okay, and uh, as we get into the invasion, obviously we will want to have everything uh, up and ready to go as much as we possibly can here. Okay, and let's go. Good luck, Bendrick. You're probably going to get slapped to death here, so let's go. And since we have a uh, Hound's Veil, if we get a uh, launch attack, we're going to be able to um, actually throw people off the edge. So that'll be really nice as well. So let's uh, throw some uh, lead down range here. Okay. Oh, and I don't need this. I need Bridge to Glory. Okay. Good. And uh, let's go for a uh, backstab here. There we go. Wow, we got super lucky there. Vendrick is uh, getting uh, uh, destroyed there. Okay. Ouch. Hey, and we got a backstab. Okay, so this will be good avenging for our haze here. And unfortunately, EO is inhibited, so that means we have uh, no inhibit resistance here. Uh, so that's really, really bad. Uh, so we really need to uh, watch ourselves here while we uh, get up. And let's go for some uh, health back here. Okay, good. Okay. He was going to heal. That's great. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, perfect. I can't believe we got a backstab there. That was awesome. Okay. And uh, let's go for some uh, more health here. Good. And uh, we'll give uh, a little bit more uh, resistance there to everybody. Okay. Wow, that was uh, close. Okay. And I can't uh, bring Vendrick back. Eo did, though. That's nice. Oh, monkeys. Okay. Oops. Okay. Uh, get rid of monkey one and monkey two. Good. Good. Okay, let's uh, get this lady a backstab here so we can uh, get back down the uh, range there. Okay, and uh, then we're going to have to run away, get some health here, or get some hay, uh, hike bar. Good. Oh, Vendrick. Taking it to the dome. Okay. Perfect. Okay, and uh, they, everybody looks, everybody looks like they're up and uh, ready here. There's a nice uh, dodge uh, uh, attack there. That was perfect. Okay, and uh, let's go for this and this and this and this. Uh, where is the... Uh, uh, okay, the golden lady is here. Okay. So I will uh, bully her around. Perfect. Got a backstab, and we need to get uh, charge booster going. Okay. Ouch. Ouch. And of course, they both used their heals. I don't know why. Uh. <laughs> oh man, the stun lock is real. You're finally uh. awake again. Yeah, I'm awake. Okay. Uh hopefully uh we get a better a better build uh with with our friend, but Vindrick uh did put up a good uh fight there uh, for sure because uh, that is a you know, again, it's a it's a brutal 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 invasion. Uh, and he did hang in there uh, quite well, so uh, we'll uh, we'll just uh, move on here. And uh, it would be nice if we uh, if we could have our heals staggered at different times to make sure that uh, um, if the heals are staggered, then what you're going to buy yourself is uh, a huge amount of longevity in the fight. Uh, and I'm not worried about losing haze anymore, obviously, since we, our 60 million haze just disappeared. But uh, that's okay. But I definitely would say that uh, if you're running a stray, uh, this does make for a pretty good overall uh, setup here.
Okay, and if we uh, head back into the invasion, and we just got unlucky there uh, with that golden warrior, uh, as she got the uh, four hit combo on us, which uh, definitely took our our health down considerably. And if you play with the uh, black vestment on here, uh, it's pretty cool with this character, as uh, it looks pretty neat. Uh, so we'll play with it on here, uh, just for now. Okay, and uh, let's go for a charge booster, drain activator, and all the works here. Okay. Good. This and this. We only have 30 seconds. Oh, monkey. Oh boy. Get rid of monkey as fast as possible. Okay, and let's head out up here because you don't want to be uh, caught in there at, at any time ever. I think I can shoot over the area here. Good. Okay. Oh, there's two of them. Wow, there's... I did not know that there were uh, two of them here. So we'll get two free launches. Two free lunches. <laughs> okay, and let's head back here. Okay. Now we're gonna need a, uh, a backstab here. Oh, that is not the backstab I was looking for. Okay. Heal's gone. So we'll go ahead and heal. Okay. Oh boy. Yep, we're in danger now. Okay, let's get a... Hopefully get a backstab on this guy. Okay. Uh, 2B. Oh, I've seen 2B. Oh. Okay. Um, ouch. Thanks, EO. Okay. Hopefully we kill something down there. Okay. And, and now we need a... Hey... <laughs> Uh, hey, I could, good night. I hope you have a uh, great night sleep and you, and you come back refreshed tomorrow. Uh, thanks for, thanks for joining, uh, with the insanity here. Okay, now we do need 10 i before we start anything else. Uh, before, oh, what? Wow, that, uh, came out of nowhere. I did not expect a, uh, a person coming at us. Okay. Why are, why are you bringing him back over here? Stay over on your side. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Oh no. Okay. Uh, now we do need to heal quite a bit. Hey Megatech. Uh, I'll get to you in a second here. Uh, we got problems. Oh boy. Okay, I'm locked on to somebody that I don't want to be locked on to. And at least we can get a launch here. Uh, um, uh, yeah, I, w I uh, started the stream a little while ago. Uh, we, we did the Genshin Impact house tour. If you're interested, uh, you can go check that out. And uh, it's, it's a lot of fun uh, how we were um, showing everybody everything. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing how the uh, housing is going <laughs> in Genshin, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Okay, but uh, thanks, for, thanks for stopping by. Uh, good to see you, um, and uh, and we'll be seeing more of you uh, soon. I hope uh, off off the line. <laughs> okay, and as we get back into these guys here, kind of thing, and uh, we can go for some more uh, bullets here. Good, and uh, hopefully we can uh, go for some charge attacks here, and uh, get some icor. Okay. Okay. Just just hit that guy once. Just kill that guy. There you go. Okay. Good job, 2B. <laughs> 2B is a uh, level 2. Okay. Oh. The golden... Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, they left uh, the, the fight here. Couldn't handle it. Okay, so we made it through the invasion there. Uh, so you can see that, that Astraea definitely um, holds its own in a pretty good way. Um, be, getting through these invasions is no you know trivial task uh, in, in, the, in its own right. And uh, getting through any kind of invasions 
um, is, uh, you know, uh, pretty, uh, pretty involved overall. Oh, uh, sorry, Akut. Oh, so Akut, you were, you were saying goodbye to Megatech. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Sorry about that. Uh, do the different heals share a cooldown? Never try using more than one. Oh, uh, that is a great, great question. Okay, so let me switch uh, to uh, the crazy uh, no heal, uh, the no regeneration uh, build here for a second. And uh, let's see, this and this. Um, let me let me uh, look this up real quick here. But uh, no, they don't share. They don't share um, uh, timers because you can uh, do different ones at different times. Um, let me let me look this up here. Uh, do, 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 do. Go to the channel playlists. No videos. Uh, search twenty five. There we go. No, not this. Um, it's the regenless. Here we go. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes, this thumbnail and the build. Okay, here we go. Um, yes, 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 uh, yes, and this needs to be life steal. Okay, and then um, this is sympathetic boon. I'll uh, I'll show you here in just a second I could, uh, how it goes. Okay, and then this is cleansing light. Okay, yes, this is juggernaut. Um, this is iron will, royal heart, and inhibit resistance. Um, so if you're up for a challenge, uh, where is that? I did this a while ago. Uh, well, inhibit removal, sorry. Here, here we go. Um, I did this a while ago, and it was a uh, run where uh, we ran in the cathedral, and you do only, um, you do no, uh, no, uh, no regens or anything. Uh, we might be able to actually try it here. Um, you know, no regens, and you only bring items. Uh, along with you. You can bring whatever items you want, and uh, you have to make it through both invasions. Whoa. That was uh, crazy. Okay, we'll go for this. You have to make it through uh, through the uh, area here uh, in the cathedral, and you have to uh, make it through with uh, one one partner. I, I typically choose White Mia. Um, one partner and... Uh, um, or you can do it with a with a regular human partner, um, and you have to make it from the beginning of the cathedral to the end of the cathedral, doing both invasions with no with no regens, um, and it's uh, it's pretty wild. Uh, and I want to take that uh, I want to take that blood veil off. And you can't let your partner die. Uh, so getting through here is absolutely brutality uh, to to actually run this run, and you have to just take the. Uh, they are honking? Yeah. That was like some kind of crazy, um, I don't even know what that was, but, uh, but that was, that was definitely, um, crazy. It was, like, super honk. So, so getting through here is, uh, is a real, real, real treat if you can actually go from, uh, beginning to end, um, uh, without, uh, any regens here in the cathedral and uh, actually keeping your partner alive. So if Mia dies, it's a restart. If I die, it's a restart. Um, and uh, it's a it's a crazy, crazy run uh, overall. And uh, you have a lot of uh, health regen on, your, on this build and such, but uh, it's definitely, um, it really, really, really tests you overall. So we do have Chariot Rush, which is our kind of main heavy hitting build, um, but it's, uh, it's, you know, not really any kind of uh, super duper anything. Okay, so let's uh, try and get into it here and see how we do. So, and since we do have the uh, extra, um, since we do have the extra regen, uh, health regens there, we're able to help uh, White Mia uh, stay alive all the time. And that's why we need to have it 
have it running all at all times. Okay, and uh, we'll go for a charge attack here. Okay. Okay. Ouch. Okay, let's go for a charge here. Okay. Stupid monkey. Good. Okay. And uh, let's definitely go for a launch here. So I don't know if I can actually do this, but uh, we'll we'll give it a uh, a best foot forward here. And uh, you know, I understand if you guys don't want to uh, watch, but uh, it's a it's a whole lot of fun if you can actually get this um, to actually run here. Okay. Yes, there are so many. Okay. Perfect. And uh, we got a lot of health back there, so that was really, really good. Okay. Okay, and let's definitely get a launch here. Um, now we will have to heal up Mia here. So let's give her some health. Good. Okay. Mia's taking some damage there. Okay. Now uh, our gifts are holding out pretty well here. Okay, good. We threw her over the edge. That's always what you want to see. Okay, now we are going to have to go for um, our gifts here. What is she doing? Okay, we'll go for launch here, and we're going to have to go for another Iron Will um, in our charge attacks, but we'll have to wait on that until uh, we are able to actually um, do something here with, uh, with these ladies. And hopefully we throw her up over the edge, because that'll uh, eliminate her immediately. Okay, good. Okay, Iron Will, Cleansing Light. Okay, good. And uh, we'll go for um, a, a charge attack here. To get uh, uh, get all of our abilities back here. Oh no! Uh, uh, of course. Of course. That's just how it had to go. Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, okay. Well, unfortunately, that was a restart. Obviously. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see how uh, how we can do here. But it is uh, absolutely brutal uh, to actually get through here. And uh, we can do it, it's just uh, <laughs> that uh, shove off the edge there is absolutely uh, what you hate to see. Ouch. Okay, you need to stop with those, with those uh, attacks there. Okay. And uh, the reason the Damarung is brought along is obviously because of the other 25% uh, <laughs> you, you feel that. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's sad. The Damarung gives us the other 25% uh, uh, decrease to our damage uh, from uh, from Clen uh, from Iron Will, so that's uh, really nice. And but they are multiplicative, so that gives us a 37.5% uh, damage reduction, as opposed to a 50% uh, damage reduction. So gotta keep that in mind. Okay, and uh, okay, let's uh, get it going here, and uh, Mia and I will. Uh, do our best here, and uh, we'll uh, put our best foot forward. Definitely a leak or a uh, inhibit. Okay, good. Okay, and this and this. Good. Mia, I could use your gift extension right about now, please. Okay, I got somebody. I think I sent two of them up in the air, so that's unfortunate. I think I sent them both up in the air again. Okay, let's go for a charge attack here. Oh. Somehow, everybody missed me there. Oh, we're inhibited. Oh, that's like the worst thing that could happen uh, right now. Where's our inhibit uh, removal? Come on, come on, come on. Okay. We'll get these going again. Ouch. Oh man, inhibit is just the the worst thing that we could go for here. But uh, you, you hate to see it when it happens, uh, and it's uh, really, really unfortunate. 
that it does happen. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is the run. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Ouch. Go away, monkeys. <laughs> uh, hey, see. Uh, we're, we're doing all kinds of uh, different things here in uh, the cathedral and other places and stuff. Uh, so we're doing pretty good. Uh, this is going to be easier than the uh, Oriole Brutes uh, were. I, I know that for sure. But uh, we're doing pretty well. Okay, we're definitely going to have to go for uh, Inhibit Removal here. Um, just because uh, we don't want that uh, stopping us anymore. So what we're doing right now, see, is the uh, Regenless uh, Cathedral Run. Ouch. Okay. And uh, so we don't have uh, any regen on us, and we have to keep uh, White Mia alive, and uh, we can't uh, we can't use any regens of any kind. So uh, we're gonna see if we can do it. Ouch! Okay, go up. <laughs> okay, having fun in the cathedral. Yes, I I am. Uh, that is me, and I am. I am that guy that actually likes the cathedral, so uh, it's a it's a great challenge run. It's a great uh, difficulty spike. Um, it's a really really good. Um, oh no! Okay, let's get cleansing light going. Okay, and we'll get uh, some of our health back here. Ouch! Okay. Oh good. And uh, there you go. So you can. Uh, you can make it through this uh, with uh, almost full health, while at the same time having, um, you know, Mia along for the ride here. So we'll go ahead and top her up on health. Uh, very good. And we'll make our way to the next objective. And uh, we'll go for Royal Heart as uh, Mia is, uh, her gift extension just ran out. So that's another 5% health right there from that guy. So those hangers are really, really good uh, to go for. Uh, when you can, just because of the fact that uh, you're able to uh, get some health back easily. Whoops. Okay, I guess we'll just go for a launch then, since I couldn't do the parry, and she went around uh, around all my attacks. Okay, whoops. Okay. Come on, Mia. Let me have the launch. Oh. Okay, we'll go for a charge attack here. Good. And now we are still full health. See how See how nice and lovely that is? And here's another guy here for another 5% uh, of your health back if you need it. Personally, you don't have anything against it. You just held a grudge from your first playthrough. <laughs> After the first, you just use the bayonet tech and use, a, use it in speedrun to get through it quickly. Oh, yes. Uh, but for me, I like to uh, make it lack, linger as long as possible. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's definitely not a, uh, um, a, shared, a shared experience here by anyone. <laughs> and then for good reason, I totally understand it. Um, but uh, the regenless run here through the cathedral is an ab like absolute test down. of everything you've uh, learned in Code Vein, and uh, being able to keep Mia alive all the way to the end is uh, a real, real, real uh, treat if you can actually get it there. Now, uh, because we have uh, made it this far, um, and all we have to do is uh, the uh, second, uh, the second um, invasion is where the uh, difficulty spike comes for us. So we will have to uh, really pay attention when we get to that point because the second invasion is absolutely brutal unless you do the cheat and you just uh, make everybody jump off the edge and kill themselves. Okay, now Mia's almost dead, so we'll uh, get her back up on uh, health there. And we'll go ahead and get some health back. So perfect. Okay, good. We didn't lose Mia. So that's another thing that makes this run uh, equally difficult is that you have to keep Mia alive. Uh, and since uh, she's the squishiest of everybody, um, besides maybe Louie, um, it, uh, it adds another whole layer of stupidity here onto the challenge. But I do like this run. Uh, this is a lot of fun just because of the fact that uh, you're slow mobility all the time, but you uh, hit, hit like a mosquito. You just kind of tickle the enemy every everywhere, but uh, you absolutely can take the punishment of what the cathedral has to dish, dish out to you. And since we're not allowed to rest, we, ha we actually have to make the run 
uh, all the way. Okay, so let's get a couple of our gifts going. And as you see, we always really do have um, all of our gifts available because we have really uh, good I-Core recovery, while at the same time we really don't have a lot of uh, high-costing gifts overall. So we will always have um, Cleansing Light active and these others. Uh, so it makes for a really, really good uh, way to go about uh, getting through here. Okay. Okay. Now she she staggers uh, pretty easily off of the uh, halberd here. Okay. Ouch! I just can't get the uh, backstabs to save my life here. Okay, and uh, maybe we could push her off. There we go. That was that was uh, definitely with, worth it to push her off and then get the uh, the plunge on her. So if you guys uh, are interested in this run. Uh, I can put this build here in the uh, description if you guys are interested in uh, actually running this build uh, and running this uh, challenge because it definitely is um, a, uh, a strange one at that. Hey, you. Come here. Okay. And, oh, I wanted to, wanted to hit her with that uh, attack there. Oh, maybe we'll throw her up over the side. And that's another thing uh, why, a, uh, why a Hound's Veil is so nice is because uh, you can throw enemies off the edge here. Oh. Okay. Let's just, uh, let's just go for the launch. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna have to go for maybe another launch if she gets up in time. Perfect. Excellent. That's the way I like to see. Getting double launches back to back uh, really does save you a whole lot of time and effort. And uh, every time we're getting a launch or a backstab or a kill, we're getting back huge amounts of health uh, over and over and over, and uh, it's in our best interest to use Juggernaut uh, like all the time. Uh, Any time we can possibly go for it, it's uh, definitely worth it. Okay, and here uh, for this lady, uh, we're just gonna go for uh, you know all the things here to put her down quickly. Oh, we actually took that hit. Oh, I didn't think we actually took that hit. Oh well. Um, but, uh, she, she, uh, these big ladies, uh, they typically just one hit you, uh, anytime that they do anything, but, uh, making the regenless run here, uh, you can actually, uh, make it all the way through. Now, this does not have the Berserker in it, uh, which that is, uh, right you know, not part of the challenge, um, because, uh, if it was part of the challenge, it would be incredible to actually make it from end to end of the cathedral, doing both invasions and the Berserker, uh, with, um, with uh, with no no regens. Okay, that's fine because we can just do this and uh, pop her in the air uh, a couple times here, and uh, we'll go for another uh, launch here just because we can. So pretty good so far. Uh, we're still hanging around 3,000 health, which is a pretty good place to be overall, and we're able to really uh, make sure that we have. Um, you know, enough uh, damage resistance here, uh, just because of what we have available to us. And unfortunately, she went, she staggered backwards, and uh, we couldn't get her with the uh, um, Chariot Rush there. But it is nice to have Chariot Rush um, available. Hey Red, uh, have a good night. Uh, thanks for uh, joining along here, and I hope you have a great day, great night, and... Uh, and uh, we'll see you again sometime, whenever I might be streaming again. And uh, again, if you want to see the house tour of of uh, what I've built in Genshin, um, you can uh, watch the beginning be of the stream right for that. So have a great have a great night, Red. And we've uh, kept me alive, and we've made it to the third missile, I believe. And so we're we're doing pretty well here. Uh, we're fine, definitely um, definitely capable of uh, bringing this home. Uh, we just have to really, really pay attention during that second invasion. And if we use Red's, Red's trick of uh, killing, making them kill themselves, uh, we might uh, we might do that. But that's the coward way to go about uh, finishing that uh, invasion. But um, we'll do it the right way, I hope. Okay. Okay. And uh, let's finish her with a charge attack here. Okay, or Mia's just gonna put her down for us. Excellent. 
Now this is a Far Cry different uh, kind of a setup than what the Estrella build was that we were trying to uh, display earlier, but that's okay. Um, it's uh, definitely good to see uh, different things here and there and, and how they operate so you understand uh, you know, a little bit more about uh, the enemies that you're running up against. And uh, you can see that even though we do take damage here and there, we're able to make it through pretty well. I mean, tactically smart. <laughs> the tactically smart way. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. I don't know. Uh, when I say smart things, I, I think I'm talking to myself usually that this would be a better way or a, that would be a better way. I don't usually think of it as something that other people should follow unless they're w willing to throw their hat in the ring. Um, but uh, typically when I go for uh, comments like that, I'm talking to myself of like, you know, what I should be doing uh, to, to get better or, uh, <laughs> you know, those kinds of stuff. So, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a funny thing when I start talking to myself about uh, what I what I need to be doing. Okay, then this fella is going to drop down. And that's fine. Because we need him too. And we'll charge him down here so we get our, um, our second stack of Iron Will. And uh, since we've opened the door, you can go this direction. Uh, which is good because you have to fight um, the, uh, the Golden Warrior here. Okay, we'll go for a charge. Uh, our Drain Activator because um, we don't have... Um, intensely amount a huge amount of icor and we can throw uh these ladies over the wall which is so great that you can literally just uh, erase enemies from the game like that uh, which is really 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 nice okay and here's this lady now ouch okay and uh, we definitely want to remove that inhibit nonsense there uh because that will uh, end us uh, it will end us before we know what happened and uh, we'll go for it. We'll, we'll leave her alone, I guess, because uh, she's not in any kind of our way here. Um, okay, making pretty good progress here uh, on the regenless run. And hopefully we uh, hopefully we can do the second invasion. I am kind of nervous about that because that invasion is absolutely brutal. <laughs> okay, made it to missile number four, which is great. And we haven't rested yet, which is also great. Okay, and we do need to go for, um, okay. Yeah, I got the, got the, uh, parry there. I was a little worried if we couldn't get it, and we'll go for the charge now. Obviously, that, uh, helps us, uh, big time. Good. And definitely go for Cleansing Light. Now, Cleansing Light only lasts 60 seconds, so we do have to be careful that we, uh, get through everywhere here in a, in a quick amount of time. And as you see, as we have, uh, less and less enemies that we come across, uh, it becomes uh, pretty difficult to, uh, you know, make sh make sure that you're uh, doing everything the right way. And uh, since we can uh, just continue the slashing pattern here and ignore the monkeys... Ouch. Okay, let's go for a charge here. So we can get our health back. And if you notice there, uh, we got more health than uh, we should have. And that was just because of the framing data of how the hound's heads move through the enemies, which is, uh, you know, why you definitely want to uh, be using a hound's veil when you go for, um, ouch, when you go for uh, regenerative drain. Okay, stay alive, Mia. Okay, she's looking okay over there. Oh no, we'll give her some health. But we can't afford Mia to go down, remember? That's one of the rules. Ouch. Okay, now we do need Cleansing Light back. Okay, uh, and we'll go for Cleansing Light. Oh, Mia brought her friend over here, how nice. <laughs> okay. Perfect, okay, good. Good, good, good. You can't wait for your girlfriend to stop screaming about the Executioner. <laughs> the Cathedral is going to be great. <laughs> oh, man. If she's uh, upset about the Executioner... Um, yeah, the cathedral will be, ooh, the cathedral will be interesting, to say the least. Okay, we made it to missile number five, perfect. Now the, the brutality begins here with, uh, uh, invasion number two, so wish me luck. Okay, 
and as we get into this fight here oh man this is not fun hey i got the parry at least that's something i mean uh count your blessings while you have them right okay excellent well that was like a near perfect encounter uh with that lady that's excellent and uh definitely go for a charge attack on her and get that uh, iron will going Okay, I can't see. Okay, let's go for a charge attack here. Because I can't see anything. What in the world is going on? Yeah, if you're if you're having a struggle with the executioner, oh man, getting to the getting to the uh, cathedral is gonna be pain in the worst way. Absolute pain. Uh, like like no other description. Just absolute pain. But uh, if she's, um, you know, if she struggles with it, uh, she'll 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 do all right. Uh, if she just uh, watches one of my videos in the cathedral, <laughs> uh, yeah, have her watch my level one playthrough, um, and uh, maybe I'll give her some tips to <laughs> to go for um, before she attempts it. Okay, and as we go in here, we go for this, and here we go. Oh, get rid of the monkey first. Okay. Good, and maybe we'll throw her off the edge here. Good. Ooh. Oh, no. There we go. And uh, we got another launch here. Good. That definitely is nice to... Uh, please don't throw me off the edge. Okay. She just threw herself off the edge. That's nice. There we go. And now I can throw her off the edge. Yay! Or uh, maybe? Oh, come on. She's too fat. Okay. Oh. What is going on here? Okay. Ugh. It's uh, dangerous here on the bridge. So we're going to uh, run back in here. We'll go for a launch. Somebody hit me. Somehow. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. Mia, come back. Okay. Uh, get back in here. Okay. And, uh, we should give uh, Mia some health here. Ouch. No. Oh, no. We're inhibited, so definitely need our inhibit removal. Okay, we got a backstab. Now, Mia, please don't die. Okay, there we go. We should be okay here to keep Mia going, um, but uh, we'll see. Okay, let's get our gifts going. Uh, at least some, some of our gifts. We'll give Mia some health. Okay. Oh, monkeys. Get rid of these monkeys. Ouch. Oh, I'm inhibited. Okay. Oh, no. Thank you, Mia. Get this off here, quick. Okay. Okay. At least uh, when inhibit happens, uh, it resets all of your gift um, times, so you can uh, uh, go for everything else. And now we are invincible because of Mia, so that's very nice. Okay. And this is the perfect opportunity to go for as many uh, health options as possible um, because you need to get as much health back as you can um, okay. uh, because you are now invincible you can get unlimited amounts of health back and this is this is the way to go about it okay leak is worse than inhibit yes leak is absolutely brutal brutality on on the revenant uh, just because of the fact that uh, you're constantly um, needing i4. I mean, that is the whole backbone of this entire game. And when uh, you don't have that availability, it just makes for something uh, really, really, really uh, awful. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Whoa. Mia, way to go. 
Okay. Now we do have um, all of our uh, resistances ending here, so we do need to be careful that uh, we are not invincible anymore. Oh boy. Okay, cleansing light, and then we will heal up Mia. There we go. Okay. Where's that backstab? There we go. Okay, Mia, uh, careful over there. Looks like she got a launch on the enemy, so that's very nice. Ouch. Ugh. Hey, we did both invasions. We did it. We did it. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Chuckles and gift only run. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, a gift only run when you get leaked. Oh man, that would be just absolutely the worst. And I'm not going for that item out there, because that is a, a fool's errand. Okay, so uh, from here on out, it's basically just. Uh... Oh man, that is uh, that is rough. Um, it's basically just uh, enemies that you uh, gang up on uh, two on one and uh, you end them and uh, it becomes it becomes kind of a trivial uh, endeavor from here on out because we're uh, whoops we're almost invincible as you can see uh, we don't really take a whole lot of uh, damage and we get 10 percent on uh, between a launch and a kill five percent from the launch and ten and five percent from the from the kill and then uh, you basically just run over to the door uh, where you uh, where you finish so it kind of makes for a great great challenge run to see if you can actually do both and uh, so we actually did it I can't believe we did it in one go here well actually two right we got thrown off the edge once and then we had to redo and reset um, and if we actually make it to the missile uh, we will actually have done the regenless <laughs> oh man this is such a hard uh, and difficult uh, run here Wow, and we can rest at the last missile. So perfect. End to end, uh, and Mia didn't die, and uh, she didn't disperse, and uh, we uh, were able to keep her alive, and we were able to um, make pretty good use here of this. Okay, so let's head back to Estrella here, as this is the whole point, and we got sidetracked there with all these other things. Uh, so now we can put equipment. our regeneration back on. Oops, uh, there. And uh, this, and then our... Uh, pure blood. Okay, now let's see if we can actually do this uh, as co-op. You still have Jack's voice. Remember the last fight? As he... <laughs> yeah, uh, when we were doing the uh, when we were doing the uh, uh, drain attack only run, uh, that was absolutely miserable with him screaming in our ear the whole time. Like, hey, remember this? Remember that? Did Did you think that uh, you you should probably do something better? And it's like, Jack, <gasps> would you get off my case, man? <laughs> I'm trying the best I can. Now this is unfortunate. Uh, when you go to uh, actually find friends in Code Vein, there's literally like never anyone, um, and uh, that's that's really really unfortunate. Um, but oh well, that's kind of how the how far how the uh, game has rolled here uh, on PC. That there's not really too many people out there anymore that are actually hardcore uh, grinding the game. Um, me and a couple others, I think, are are the uh, last of the long line here, but uh, there there's still quite a community. I mean, you guys are are the community that's still watching. So, and I don't know, well, <laughs> I just still to this day like don't even understand why you guys come to watch. Like, it's incredible. Oh, and we did have a question on uh, about the boreal brutes. Um, so let's go back and uh, and uh, mark those guys down um, as uh, they are. Not fun, but we'll do just the uh, we'll do just the one guy, uh, so we get their uh, resistances um, squared away here. Uh, okay, and uh, this will be for you, Demandre. So let me move up, move my stuff around here. Um, I gotta get the notebook set up. Uh, so the boreal uh, slash crush and pierce are his damage types, and then blood. And ice, fire, lightning. Okay, uh, we will uh, grab our Boreal Brute Ice Gift only. Oh, uh, no way. <laughs> uh, I, well, I shouldn't say no way. 
Uh, what I should say is, like, I don't know if I can actually do that. <laughs> oh, man, that would be intense. That would be absolutely intense. Um, let's see here. 8, 6, 8, 50. Um, so here we're going to need uh, uh, mind and willpower, sure. Uh, we'll go strength and... No, let's go strength and willpower. Um, mind and vitality. And um, mind and fortitude. We need another mind. I guess... Uh, I guess we'll go dex and mind. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, 549. And what's here? 930? This 930? 943. Okay, so this needs to be just mind. 862. There we go. And okay, so we will check uh, blood, fire. Ice and lightning. Now this will all be done real time, so you'll kind of uh, be <laughs> wondering what the heck is going on with all the numbers and stuff. I don't care we're down here what we go for. Um, and we get rid of Mia. Hellfire Knight, Fire Gift only. Oh my goodness. Warhill Brute Duo, no restriction any day. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that was the whole point of why I got tired of uh, running against the two of them. Uh, and we just did the one-shot set <laughs> on, on both of them. To, to get rid of them quickly. Uh, it was uh, in our best interest to not dilly-dally around with them, but to just uh, get rid of them and move on because uh, it's, it's just a headache um, in the worst way. Okay, so now um, we have... Uh, let's see. Now I'm going to have to set up uh, our pause button here. Okay. Photo mode is our pause button. It's so mentally... <laughs> exhausting it is it is extremely exhausting uh mentally okay so let's uh start out with slash and crush here um there we go so 862 and 930 gotta get my calculator you can't play code vein without a calculator that's my that's my rule okay so we're gonna be doing uh some value over 862 times 0 0.9 for the for the first attack okay and we'll see what that is and then we'll pause and we'll switch to our weapons here and uh, go for um, our other attacks. Okay. Where's his health bar? Okay. But. Okay. 776. Okay, so 776. So he's uh, got a 0% uh, slash resistance. That's nice. We'll put his uh, stuff here in the, in the uh, description as well. So uh, Demandre can come back and check it out. Uh, okay, and uh, so everybody else can have it as well. Oops. Okay. So 628, that's crush, and we had 930. So 628 over 930 times 0.9. Uh, 75%, so he has a 25% crush resistance. So no crush for him. Definitely want to go slash so far, and then we have to check um, the, uh, the uh, um, oh boy, bayonet here. And this has a, a 905 uh, charge attack, if I can actually get it to uh, run. Okay, let's... Oh. Oh, I knew it. I knew he was going to roll. Okay. Uh, well, we almost had the uh, switch there. Uh, so, so definitely go for Slash on him, as he has that 0% resist on Slash, which is great. But he has a 90% uh, resistance... Uh, when he gets his ice armor up, so uh, that is uh, what you want to watch for. Uh, as soon as his ice armor goes up, you uh, run for the hills. <laughs> Boreal Brute in your bayonet shots only was brutal. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. And this diff ain't better. Yeah, it uh, it's definitely um, definitely a difficult one. Okay. So, uh, just because of the dual Boreal Brutes, it's, it's really, really tough. Um, otherwise, it's not too horrible. Okay, so now uh, on this, this will do a 905 pierce damage. Uh, so we will see here uh, what our value is that we get. Oh, 905. So he's got a zero, um, a zero uh, 
uh, pierce resist. So that's nice. So pierce or slash is what you want to go for overall. And uh, let's uh, end this and switch back to the Queen Slayer Blade. And now we will look for blood damage. Uh, so now this will be... Um, we're going to solve for 862 times 0.9 times 1 plus 0.2 minus whatever his resistance is equals some value. Okay, so we'll we'll be uh, looking for what blood damage does here on his uh, on his health bar. So 931. Okay. So he's got a 0% uh, resist to blood, which is great. That's very, very good. Whoops. Um, so let's let's go in here for some Icor uh, back because we'll need some Icor for the other um, setups. Okay, you just got done streaming yourself. Hey, Ramix, uh, I didn't know you were streaming. Oh, that's cool. What were you streaming? You tried to do the Tower of Trials two and kept dying to Mito. Oh. That uh, definitely does sound like a problem. Okay, so now let's see what blood does against his uh, 93. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, so he has a 110% um, resist to blood, but he also gets physical resistance, so we'll have to check that. Uh, we'll have to check that here when blood runs out. Okay. When it, as soon as blood runs out here, we'll uh, we'll give it another look on the damage value. You hate the hate tower two, yeah. Tower two is absolutely brutal. Okay, so now that he's done with that, one fifty five is his physical damage. Uh, so solve or no, one fifty five over eight sixty two times point nine. So now he has an eighty percent resist <laughs> to slash on his ice armor. So that's incredible. And uh, let's check his pierce uh, damage. 181. Probably the same. So 181 over 905. Yeah, 80%. Um, and I wonder what it is for... Um, okay, so we had, it, we had it last time, so now we can solve for his blood uh, value. So 862 times 0.9 times... Um, point, uh, 0.2 times 1 plus point 0.2 minus x equals 93. So he, has a, so he goes up to a 60% resisted blood when he has his ice armor on. So he gets it. Uh, that is crazy. And we have to try and check crush uh, if we can. Um, I should uh, switch. Okay. okay, and is he going to let me... Uh, do it. Is he going to charge me? No, please. Please don't roll. Okay. Please don't roll. Please don't roll. If he rolls, I'm dead. There we go. We got it. Okay. So now... Uh, okay, 335. Okay, so 335 over uh, 930 times 0 0.9. So 40% resist... Um, when he has his ice armor on. Okay, good. So, when he has his ice armor up, go for crush. When he has his ice armor off, it's slash and pierce. Very good. Okay, and then uh, let's look at what his uh, what his ice resist is with the, oh no, with the ice armor on. So we do zero. That's not uh, looking good here. Um, so it's at least, okay. Uh, wow, um, that's going to be confusing. Um, let's see, 862 times 0 0.9 times 0 0.2 times 1 plus 0 0.2 minus x equals 0. He has a 120% ice resist. When he has his ice armor up. So they absolutely made sure that you can't uh, hit him with ice. <laughs> oh, 
Ouch. Ouch. Okay. My brain stopped there for a second. You're tempted to tell your girlfriend that Zero District is mandatory, <laughs> but you don't have the heart to do it. Oh, it, it is mandatory because that's how you farm uh that's how you farm tungsten. So you have to you have to do the void district. Well the zero district, I mean. Uh yeah. <laughs> I would do the Zero District over the Void District any day. Okay, so as we head back here, um, so we know with this Ice Armor you can check with uh, Crush Damage much better than with uh, Pierce Damage, so we'll, we'll stick with the uh, Crush for now, since it'll be a, be a better overall um, setup here. Okay, and uh, let's go for these, okay, and uh, we'll uh, check his fire now, and it's like... Uh, Three or four attacks when he has his, um, when he has his um, ice armor up to make it come off, especially with crush damage. So 942, uh, so 862 times 0.9 times 1 plus 0.2 minus x equals 942. So he has a, uh, so he has no no resist to fire. So that's nice, right? Uh, yeah, 942, or sorry, whoops, I did it wrong. Uh, it was the 930 that we're supposed to do here. And, and we're doing crush, so times 0.75. There we go. Okay, that's better. He has a minus 15% um, resistance to fire. So uh, definitely want to make sure that you're obviously going for fire big time against him. Okay. He's not going to charge me. I'm going to charge him for assault and battery. Oh. This guy. <laughs> okay, would you transform, please, before my flame weapon runs out? Okay, let's heal. Dude. Transform, please. Okay. Alright, if you're not going to transform, I'm going to... Just go for a backstab here, and uh, we'll check our lightning value. 879. Okay. So he's got a 0% resist to lightning uh, without the ice armor, which is nice. So lightning and blood, you, uh, lightning, blood, and fire obviously you fire but uh, I, I mean like if you didn't know it then that's what it is twinkle toes just please stop doing anything uh, would you stop twinkling around in the air man transform please I need to check lightning and fire versus your ice armor there we go finally hey Andy uh, man you came in at a really bad time here 268 Okay, uh, you're here literally one second because you just endured four hours of the Super Mario Sunshine level and still didn't beat it. Oh man, good grief. Asleep now. You would have raided, but if you'd known I was streaming. Yeah, I don't stream very often, so uh, I don't know what a raid means, but um, okay. Uh, you would have like joined me in Code Vein? That would have been awesome. I would love to play with you sometime. Uh, you know, but I hope you have a good night's sleep, and I uh, hope you have a great uh, a great time in Super Mario Sunshine. I've been trying to catch bits and pieces of it here. That's kind of funny. Um, okay, so I totally lost my value uh, that we were looking at, but uh, let me see if I cancel real quick. 268. There we go. Okay, so solve uh, eight uh, or so 9:30 times 0.75 times 0.4. Sorry, times 0.6 uh, times 1 plus 0.2 minus x equals 268. So he has a um, so he has a 70% fire resist uh, when he has the ice armor on. That is bad news. Okay, but the nice thing about it is that you can uh, knock it off in a couple of hits which is why uh, fire is so good, and if you do crush, it's actually less hits than uh, other things. And he's just gonna 
dance around, isn't he? Okay, good. He's going for uh, that again. So we can check uh, lightning now. Oh. Okay. And good. Okay. 234. Okay. Okay, so and he's got an 80% lightning resist uh, in phase 2 here. Okay. And then we need to check his ice on regular. I believe it's a... Oh. I believe it's a 70%. Is this a DLC boss? <laughs> yeah, this is a secret hidden uh, DLC boss that nobody, uh, nobody knew about. <laughs> okay. And he's going to do that. Oh, come on. Uh, I dodged at the very wrong time. How you doing, Revenge? We had some questions about the Boreal Brute and his uh, resistances and such. Um, so we're going through all of those here to make sure that uh, we know everything we can about the Boreal Brute. Um, so when everybody uh, gets up against him in uh, the Ridge of Frozen Souls, uh, you know exactly, exactly what to go for. Um, okay. And uh, right now it's looking like Slash Pierce, and once he gets his armor, you go for a crush. Um, and blood and fire are the ways to go. Um, this, is, this is the Depths boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. This is the Depths boss. Okay, and we have to check ice on regular now. Uh, oh, and I don't have any i -Core. Um There we go. Now I have i -Core. Uh Okay. Uh, you guys actually make me laugh all the time, every, anytime you guys join uh, the stream. <laughs> oh, I backstabbed. I didn't mean to backstab, but that's okay. Uh, okay, stand up. 314. Okay. So, solve 930 times 0.75 times 1 plus 0.2 minus x equals... What was the value? Two, uh, 314. Okay, and that comes out to a 75% ice resist uh, when he's got when he's just regular regular zero. Uh, so if you um, want to go for ice on this guy, it's absolutely obviously not recommended. Um, so let's see here. We need slash, blood, fire, lightning, or pierce, blood, fire, lightning. And if we were actually going to run a build, I, I don't know, just real quick. Um, and because this is so cool to use Twilight here, uh, we'll go for that. We'll go for this. Probably we'll do dark all the way, uh, I would think. Um, yeah. And probably, obviously, the Brionic. Uh, that'll be great. Um, can I go for the big boy here? can. Oh, most excellent. Most excellent. What if I go for the intensified? Let's go for the... Yep. Okay. Perfect. I'll do that. And then we will need this. And we'll go for a drain. And we will go for... Let's see. What should we do? What should we do? Probably just uh, more, more willpower as much as we can go for. Okay, so Pierce Lightning, that's a good one. We'll need uh, Crush Fire. So this will be for when he's got his uh, ice armor up. Um, and then Slash Blood, so Execution. And uh, let's see, we'll go for Blazing Roar as well. Or actually, uh, we'll go for Dancing Blaze, because that'll be extra good. Then this, and Blood Sucking Blades. Uh, probably this, and Gift Extension. Oh wait. That'll get me quick. Okay, perfect. So something like this would be um, what we would want to potentially try for, um, just because of the fact that uh, we're able to put all of his weaknesses into effect um, over and over and over. And uh, he won't really have uh, too much to do about it uh, because we'll be able to um, put him down uh, pretty fast, uh, according to the theory craft on the fly here. The best projectile was Walpurgis Fire. Yeah, 
it's it's a pretty incredible uh, gift overall. And uh, let's see if we can actually do him uh, here and uh, get him get him gone. Okay, so execution will be great for when he's uh, got. Uh, ouch! Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go ahead and heal because <laughs> uh, because the biggest of boys here is. Uh, Okay, I hit him once. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I can't believe that uh, you guys are re you guys wanted to request uh, him more than any anything else in game here, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll make it work. I just need to uh, get him in uh, in a corner of, of sorts here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes. Bodied hard. Bodied in the worst, worst possible way. Absolute worst way. Okay, and uh, we will need to uh, get everything going so we can have a chance here. Maybe. Okay. And uh, yeah, throw something at me, that's fine. Okay. Whoops. Okay, come here. Okay, yes, do that. And you can see there that that is uh, an incredible amount of uh, damage uh, overall. Okay, and we'll go for the Wolpurgus Fire, and that'll uh, put him uh, down there. And Execution coming in really, really good there with some damage. And uh, we'll go for another Execution because he doesn't have his uh, armor on. Okay, and another execution. And execution literally is an execution for him. Um, that is uh, absolutely devastating to his health there. Uh, and if we had um, Dark Shout, it would be equally um, equally damaging. Now, uh, because I'm a masochist, uh, let's see what this does uh, versus the two of them uh, together. And uh, we'll, we'll see uh, if we can just uh, sneak past this guy quickly. Of all the blinding <laughs> visual effects the Hellfire Knight can conjure, and all the weird hitboxes, <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll send onto them only me. <laughs> uh, sometimes that's all you need is just a good build, and uh, you're able to really get through everything uh, easily and quickly. And uh, sometimes that's just, you know, literally all it is is just changing up the build, uh, seeing what you need to do, and then uh, go, go for it all in and uh, it becomes it becomes easy so kind of kind of weird okay oh of course oh of course uh, didn't even get a <laughs> didn't even get a hit uh, but uh, I would like to start it off with a backstab for those sweet iframes uh, because then as soon as you get a uh, because as soon as you get the um, the iframes, you're able to uh, do some really good setups, and uh, you're able to kind of move through um, without uh, too much problem. Because we already lost our haze once to these guys, uh, this is kind of the uh, the revenge story here for for these two. Um, but uh, we'll uh, we'll be able to uh, put them down here, I believe, uh, pretty easily. Now this guy will probably throw things at us. Oh, of course they're both throwing things at me. Okay. <laughs> oh man, these guys, these guys are just something else. Uh, every, every time you go through these guys, it is just, it is just pain in the worst way. You're, you are completely right about that. See, okay. But at least we know exactly um, what they are weak to now, and how, uh, how best set up to here to deal with their weaknesses. Uh, it's just uh, our weakness is uh, literally you don't get hit, and uh, that's the problem. <laughs> okay. And if they would just stop stop throwing the icicles. Okay, good. And if I could get a an attack, <laughs> if I could get just one attack, just use the trainer uh, to cheese them. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. 
Good grief. I just need one hit and I'll feel good about myself. <laughs> okay. And if I if you can get a hit on them, it kind of stumbles downhill from there. But uh, them, them just being absolutely ridiculous here with their uh, damage of basically one hitting you uh, in everything you do. It, uh, like that. Okay. Okay, guys. Oh, oh my goodness, come on. And I get a launch and it doesn't do anything, so how nice. Okay. Of course. I wish I could heal. Okay. Um, and here's an execution. So see, we get good damage. And we're dead. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, these guys. These guys are just ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Um, here, let's go for it. Um, let's see. Ice armor. Yeah. And here, we'll go for this. Okay. And this will help us at least uh, stay alive. It won't be max damage, but at least uh, we can maybe stay alive more than one hit. And we'll see just uh, what an improvement that does here for us. Okay, and uh, forget uh, the drain. We'll go for more more antifreeze. And uh, this is the nice thing about uh, Vayne, is that you can you know switch it up on a, on a moment's notice uh, at any time, which is really, really good. Uh, to be able to do. Okay, and let's go for Gift Accelerator. Yep. And let's head on in, pick up our Haze if we can. Okay. And now we're invincible. <laughs> okay. Nice. I like invincible. Okay, and then these guys get huge, huge, huge amounts of ice damage uh, added to their kit, uh, which we can't even uh, be 100% invincible to, as you see there. Uh, we still uh, take damage. Ouch. Okay, no. At least we uh, don't take damage to that. Okay, and we're dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. The amount of ice recovery, ice damage that you need to be invincible to there for that ice roll when they get the ice armor is just astronomically huge. It's it's ridiculous how high you need to go. You need to go into the, I believe it's like uh, 300 range for ice, uh, ice defense, um, which is extremely high. Uh, extremely high. Uh, and as you saw, we were not capable to get there. Okay, but uh, we are very, very uh, good in the first phase here while they don't have their armor. So if we can uh, at least get um, one of them backstabbed at, at any point, any point, I just, okay. Okay. Uh. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, good. Okay, no. Okay. Ouch. Okay, no, stop. Oh, it hurts. Okay. Ouch. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Would you stop? Okay. Ouch. No. No. Okay, one of them's gone. <laughs> uh. Okay, now we do need a, a few hits here. Okay, good. And we do need some I core. There we go. Okay, and now we just basically bully uh, this guy down. And then we shouldn't uh, get hit here, but uh, famous last words, right? And we get, we finally got a backstab. It's like the first backstab <laughs> since we've been fighting these guys. Okay, and there's an execution, which is great. And uh, now we can just go over and over here uh, and uh, get these guys... Uh, <laughs> ended there we go <laughs> uh so the the double the double attack there uh definitely is is pretty good okay Whew. <laughs> i am beef <laughs> yeah in before one shot it yeah uh, that is definitely the case okay and then uh, for nicola we can also do the same thing um and uh let's bring a friend for for nicola just just for fun um let's uh, bring in white mia for for fun here because uh, she's you know needs to watch her brother die again so we'll uh we'll put nicola down uh nicely we'll be we'll be gentle <laughs> uh, okay I, I just uh can't get enough of uh of running this game i just it's so good why am i not recovering icor Oh, that was good. That was a good, uh, a good rotation, man. Oh, well. See ya, Nicola. And a laser beam to the back. <laughs> oh, man. Nicola is, like, so easy when you, uh, when you actually build, uh, appropriately. And he just kind of dissolves into nothing and disappears. But that was a pretty good rotation overall. And as you see, all his attacks are ice. Uh, or at least if you uh, go extremely high on ice, uh, you can do really, really, really well. Okay, and uh, Ramix uh, had a hard time with uh, uh, Tower 2. Uh, so let's let's go to Tower 2 and see um, just, how, just how we can go about getting through there. Um, see a chump. Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, so we will want to, uh, let's see. Um, this setup does very well adventuring. So we will run, um, we'll run the machete and what was the veil? Yeah, this. Okay. Slash. And so here we will be going for Aurora Flash. Sorry, for the first guy we'll be going for this. Uh, this should be pretty good. This should all be pretty good. Um, and then we fight the uh, stripper. Okay, okay, this. And then we go down and we get the uh, Ice Boy, and then we go Pierce Ice, and then Mito. Okay, uh, let's, let's head through here. Fascinating. Okay, it thanks Davis. For you to take mine. I'm to see let's have. see how we do. And, uh, what, uh, what partner should we bring along? Reports for take any, uh, this is all we've any got particular requests? Don't be over eager. Come back immediately if you sense danger. Understood. 
Okay. Glad to be together. Thanks, Mia. Let's see. All right, who should we pick? Do, 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 do. Hmm. 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 <laughs> My viewer. <laughs> I mean, if you're if you're up and you are available for it, uh, come on in. Um, I will highly uh, appreciate the the join. Uh, I think we'll go for EO because of the slow. That'll probably be that'll probably be the best. Okay, and uh, here we'll definitely go for invisibility at the beginning uh, to make sure we can actually get through here. But uh, yeah, see if you are up for it, I would highly uh, welcome you. Uh, to come on and join here in Tower Two. Let's be off then. Yes. Uh, this is a this is a really rough. Uh, this is just such a just such a really 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 rough um, tower. What do you do, fellow viewer? <laughs> hey, General General Magnesium. Ooh. How are you doing? Welcome to the uh, to the stream. Um, just kind of wanted to run some viewer uh, setups and topics and everything. And uh, we we did the um, well, we did the Genshin Impact uh, house. Uh, we did the Genshin Impact uh, house uh, tour at the beginning. Then we did the Astrea builds. Uh, then we did uh, some other things. And now we're here in the uh, in the tower, going for. Um, these fellas. Ouch. Okay, then. Ouch. Eo. Okay, good. Eo killed that one. Alright, so now we have, uh, we have to switch to Aurora Flash. Um, yeah, I guess we'll keep the big one. Uh, these are pretty good. I think we'll be all right. Um, I think we will be all right. Let's go ahead and heal one. And let's go for drain activator. And we should be good. And hopefully we can get a backstab here and there to help us on our um, abilities here. Okay. Good. Get rid of all three of those at once. That really helps. Okay. Okay. No, please group up. Oh, ouch. Back heal. Oh, it's a gunner. Ouch. And we're dead. First. First uh, death of the towers here. <laughs> Uh, can't you just do the barrage gifts the whole thing? Uh, no, because the uh, the enemies are strong to pierce, um, and so you want to be doing um, you want to be doing ice slash in the second floor. You want to be doing um, blood slash in the first floor, and uh, you want to be doing um, basically some different things uh, in the third uh, or the fourth floor. Uh, you want to just basically do all ice, um, and uh, then for the uh, uh, whoops. for the uh, fourth floor, you want to um, or for the fifth floor, you want to do pierce ice again, and then uh, from there you will be into the middle fight. So now we'll switch to Aurora Flash. Good. And we'll get this and this. So we'll. Uh, We'll be able to um, hopefully uh, get uh, these folks gone pretty easily because we have uh, uh, a lot of uh, pierce here. Okay, good. Ouch. Okay. 
Ouch. What in the world? I've not seen that attack uh, in a very long time. <laughs> that was very odd. Okay. Good. Let's go ahead and heal while we have one enemy uh, active here. Good job, Eo. Get her. Get her, get her. Alright. There we go. Good, and who do we got? We got a gunner and another gunner. Okay. Good. Okay. Ouch. Okay. Ouch. What in the world? Ew, just kill that thing, please. Okay, go ahead and stand up. Good. Did you kill that, you? Not yet. Okay, good. Okay, now we will be into the Executioner, so we will need Blast Bolt, um, all the Crush things, um, if we can. Um, Blast Bolt will be probably good enough. Um, I guess we can go for Fourfold Verdict. Uh, it'll it'll be sort of helpful. Not not too terribly helpful, but sort of helpful. All right, and we'll go for Drain. Okay, and let's, let's head on in here. Get some i first. Okay. Okay, good. Good, we got our halfway. That's nice. Get some i core here. Back up. Okay. Now this is gonna be really rough. Okay, good. We definitely need to be ultra careful here. Ouch. That is why. Nice stagger there, Eo. Okay, awesome. Ouch. Thank you, Eo. Do not slide. Okay. Here we go. And then she's going to slide again. Okay. There we go. Okay, good. Executioner down. Onwards. There we go. And now uh, we got the uh, biggest of boys here, which we need to do all kinds of ice. Um, so basically anything ice that you can do is uh, appreciated for this guy. So we'll go for Freezing Roar, and we'll go for Icarus Ice, I guess. Uh, yeah, sure. And uh, it's good to go invisible here at the beginning. Um, the Executioner just gave me pleasant <laughs> memories of attempting Perseus' gift-only run. Oof. That does not sound uh, fun at all. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. He drained all my eye court. <laughs> How nice. Uh, uh, what's IIRC? It's the Black Knights. The 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 um the yeah the uh, Black Hunters are down here, and here we need to do Pierce Ice. Um, so we will go for uh, let's see, probably Barrage and Icarus Ice will be the best, and we would like to do Pierce. Um, so we will do this. Uh, the desert bugs, the yeah, 
the the black knights are the the dark uh, the uh, um, black uh, the black halberds the dark the dark uh, the black hunters good grief get it out <laughs> oh if I recall yeah I don't know uh, too many um, ouch wow Eo what I died and I don't even know what happened. <laughs> uh good grief. You're finally awake again. Eo, I'm awake only because you weren't doing your job. Ugh. All because of her. I have to go through this again. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what happened. Uh she just literally stood there and did nothing, so whatever. Um Okay, I guess uh I guess we'll keep Blast Bolt up here, just in case we need it. Too much Dark Souls? <laughs> I've played no Dark Souls, so uh, you you made up for both of us. How about that? Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, good, we got a backstab. <laughs> yeah, General Magnesium, that is absolutely an oof and a half, uh, because... Uh, <laughs> It absolutely was, literally, she just stood there and did nothing. Um, I, I don't even know what that was. But, okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, now uh, we need our Slash Ice. Very good. And I guess we'll keep Blast Bolt uh, for now. Okay. Good. Okay, and uh, let's go for this lady next. Go for some back steps here, get some of that i core back, and then, whoops, and then we will head over here. Get rid of this one. That's why Blast Bolt is amazing. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, now Eo's de doing good work, uh, where she did literally nothing before. <laughs> Thoughts on the hardest boss? It's the... Yeah. The Attendant of the Relics is, yeah, a sleeper boss. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting boss. Um, the the 30% uh, uh, damage resistance <laughs> definitely, uh, definitely is a, uh, a problem. But it's nothing you can't overcome. Oh. Okay. I did not uh, see this lady here. I didn't think she was coming in, but I guess she was. Okay. Um, the hardest boss I would definitely have to say is the uh, Queen's Knight. Uh, not the Queen's. The uh, Hellfire Knight. Um, he uh, absolutely wrecks me all the time, uh, and it's really, really bad. So here, let's go for... Yeah, I guess we're good. Um, definitely, uh, yeah, we'll go for a fourfold verdict again. Okay, um, this and this. Good. Okay, good enough. Okay, come on. Ooh. I don't mind why the machete. Um, because it was uh, part of this Ishtar build that I was uh, running the other day, and uh, it's actually a whole lot of fun uh, overall. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just a thing. Not really meant for any one specific reason. And it has. Uh, potentially really good stagger built into it um, just because it is a very heavy weapon I don't know it's uh whoops somehow she missed me and I missed her and all of that okay I desperately need some stamina here 
desperately need some stamina. Yeah, go get her, Eo. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. We're dead. Rip. Rip us. Okay. Eo. Where's your Panacea's Essence? Panacea's Essence, please! Oh. Okay, come on, Eo. Eo with the dodge mechanics of a lifetime here. Yep. Well, rip haze. <laughs> uh... Hey Gizmo, uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're trying to go through the uh, the Tower of Trials here uh, as kind of the uh, I don't know, just as a uh, a fun, uh, difficult thing to do. And uh, I hope you've I hope you've been well. That's fine if you haven't had time to watch anything. I, but if you're getting a job, then definitely don't be watching me. Uh, go do the job thing. I would highly recommend going to do the job thing, uh, for sure. Um, and uh, it's uh, way more in your best interest to be doing that rather than sitting around here with me. So, uh, but good to have you, uh, and good to see you around. Um, because uh, sometimes, you know, you see people for a, a long time and then uh, you don't see them and you kind of wonder, you know, what happened and what went on and wh where did they go and what was their life and uh, you never really knew them. So, uh, good to have you back. Good to see you. And I'm, I'm very happy that you actually landed a job somewhere. That's, that's great. Um... You've been a pleb for Executioner's Sword for so long. <laughs> yeah. Well, most most people are, um, because it's arguably the best one-handed sword in the game. Um, and uh, for good reason. Uh, for good reason, Jack uses it. But the machete does not get enough love as it should. Um, and so I just thought it would be a fun one to go through here. Okay. And especially if you do this and then this, typically you get a knockdown. Ouch. Yeah, I know it's not good, Eel. Oh, there's a gunner? Okay, I totally missed this. <laughs> oh, man. I know there's somebody lurking. Okay. Uh, you got off at 10? Oh, that's nice. Is the red one? Uh, the red one's not here. So we have to kill all three of these um, simultaneously, I believe. Ouch. Aesthetically, it's quite a beauty. Yeah. The, uh, oh, come on. The machete looks incredible. I mean, it, it's beefy, it's thick, it's heavy, it's chunky, it does huge amounts of damage. It's a great, great weapon. Um, and, and it's a great place to farm uh, all of our stuff here, so that's really good. Uh, let's see, fire? No. I want ice, something. Um, can't Just can't get much better than Blast Bolt here. Okay, so let's go for this. And do I have a drain version? I do have a drain version. Perfect. Okay. At least our haze is here. Okay. At least we'll have a little bit uh, better um, drain value this time. There we go. Oh, I missed. I hate that. Why? Game. Why? Executioner. Uh, it's so freaking ridiculous. Oh, and we're slowed. How nice. Yo, Panacea's Essence, please. We're dead. Oh. Yo, heal. Oh, too late. But she got the Panacea's Essence off. Uh, I can't believe we got... Uh, we got slowed there at the executioner. That's ridiculous. Ugh. Okay, I feel like what we need to do is, um, 
go for the real run on this. Um, and let's stop messing around here. Uh, okay. Let's head back to the archive. And let's, uh, create it. Let's do this the right way. Um, because if you want to get through the, through the towers, um, you want to do it very well. Okay. And let's see here. Uh, okay. Um, let's go for this. How do you like exploring with me? Uh, no, I want to do strength and dex. Okay, so we'll just, uh, we'll just, uh, run through the, um, we'll just run through the tower here now. Uh, if you guys don't mind at all, we're just gonna maul these guys. Um, let's see. Sure, we'll go for stamina. That's fine. And it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, okay, here we go, Jack. And uh, this is how you, this is how you uh, destroy. <laughs> you just absolutely destroy the uh, towers. Okay, uh, this uh, no here. We want to go for blood. Okay, and that's fine. Uh, this is not fine, but this is okay. I guess we'll go for this. We're already quick though. Uh, this okay, that's fine. And blood cartridge. Okay, good. What's up? Notice okay. Something? Um, yeah, I noticed that we're gonna we're gonna rock this. Okay. Here we go. Um, you haven't gotten the, the saying, they're wrong, you're tired. <laughs> you may have gotten this saying, <laughs> it's just another, it's nothing really to sneeze at. You're just a crew member at McDonald's. Hey, a job's a job. I mean, you know, it. it's, a job is a job. And you cannot uh, say that, you know, that's, that's a bad thing. Because, I mean... Just having the job. I mean, some people would would absolutely love to have a job, you know, and they just can't. So, you know, it's it's good. It's good. I'm I'm happy for you. I'm very happy for you. Um, okay, and let's go for Jack. Okay. And we should be able to. Uh, burn these guys down pretty quick here. Uh, what was I going for down here? Oh no, I don't remember. Sure, this is good. Um, okay, and where are we? Uh, there we go. Okay. Ouch. Where's the other guy? I couldn't find the other guy. Oh, there he is. He's spinning around. Okay, good. And then uh, let's switch here. And this. And we're going to go for Tormenting Blast. Where is Tormenting Blast? Uh, it's been a while. There we go. And this, this. Uh, so here we're going to go for Bridge. And Adrenaline. Sure, that's fine. Um, ice. Okay, and here we definitely want to run. Uh, oh, yeah. Go for the fortified. Uh, here we definitely want to go for two-handed sword. Good. One, two, three. Okay, and then here. Uh, so we'll be quick. Perfect. And then. Uh, yeah, this is all good. Uh, we don't need this though. Uh, we'll go for this. And here we'll go for ice. Okay. And let's get uh, all of this going. And this is how you uh, how you should take the towers. It is very slow, uh, very um, methodical, and uh, actually do exactly what you need to be doing uh, to each of the areas. Um, and this is Jack. There you go. To make sure that you act absolutely uh, destroy everything in your path. <laughs> and if you don't, uh, you pay for it uh, severely. 
and that's why we're uh, doing what we can here. Okay. Good. And we will go for Tormenting Blast. There we go. Okay, we'll go for Drain. Good. And let's head on in. And we'll... Ouch. Oh, come on. Jack. Thank you. Oh my goodness, what? <laughs> uh, okay, now that we got the code set up, uh, we'll, it, it basically turns into whack-a-mole in the second level. But uh, the, the, uh, the cathedral is, or the, uh, the second uh, tower here is probably the hardest, um, the hardest challenge in the game. Uh, because of how, be just because of how it uh, absolutely challenges everything uh, you go for in the game, Ugh. it's just so frustrating how uh, how it happens uh, over and over and over in uh, in a really bad method here. Uh, but if you, <laughs> uh, but if you go uh, into every uh, level the right way, you can absolutely tear through uh, everything. But uh, we'll we'll get it here. <laughs> okay. Good. And check. And then we'll head on down. Yep, he's letting it flow, boys. Okay. Good. And we need um, find and willpower there. Good. And then. Uh, uh, where is it? There we go. Okay. Good. There we go. And before the invisibility runs out, everything's gone. <laughs> uh, perfect. Uh, now I'm back here. Good. And this, this, this. Good. Okay. And then we will need to go for this. Okay. So now I'm doing tower two. Yeah, I wanted to, you uh, you inspired me there, Ramix. Uh, I wanted to uh, definitely give it a go here um, because it's uh, it's the hardest challenge uh, and uh, brain busting endeavor in the game. <laughs> uh, it's uh, I think it's uh, definitely uh, worth going for for everyone. Um, just because of the fact that it's so brutal um, and over the top that uh, it's definitely uh, intriguing for sure. Okay, where's Tormenting Blast? There we go. And this needs to be ice. Oops, our six seconds is almost over. Okay. And, uh... Good. Good. Okay. And whack. And whack. And whack. And whack. Oh. Whack. Okay. And whack. And whack. Ouch. Okay. There's uh, the second room. <laughs> Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and heal. I can't heal because of Jack. There we go. And even though we want to do crush here, uh, slash will do just fine. Um, okay, and here we're going to have to go for uh, yeah, this, and we'll probably have to uh, pure blood our way, That's a good idea. but we'll see here. Okay. Wait, why can't I... Oh, B plus... So this... Okay, so strength and dex. Okay. Choose the right time to heal. And here we need to do this. Good. Okay. And... This. Okay, and we'll keep blood... Uh, for now, that'll be that'll be good enough. Okay, this, 
this, this. Problem with Mito is that he just one shots you with everything. Yeah. He does. <laughs> and that is a real problem. You are not wrong. Uh, which is why we uh, will need to, you know, take him down with some with some goodness. Okay, good. All right, and let's go. Oh, it hurts. Okay, at least uh, she's gonna do that, so we can. Uh, hopefully stagger her here. Okay. Ooh, Jack's dead. Where is she? There we go. Okay. Got her gone. Where is the blue thing? Okay, and now uh, we will... Which, again, because we have to go for uh, ice on this boy, uh, which will be fine. And then for the next uh, level, we will go for ice pierce. Good. Um, okay. And it's unfortunate that we uh, <laughs> ran into a little problem there. So strength and vitality. Uh, what, what vitality do I have? C plus? Okay. Good. Uh, okay. And uh, with Mito, um, you uh, definitely want to uh, just go for one shots back on him, <laughs> as uh, I, I'm sure you can imagine. So you run down there, and then you one one shot him, and then uh, you move on with life. Uh, and that is uh, that is really the the way to go about uh, Tower Two is just do all the overwhelming everything you can possibly do because uh, everything in this in this tower is meant to absolutely obliterate you in really, really bad ways. <laughs> um, but uh, we do have to be a little careful here with our healing uh, because we have to save a little bit for um, the end. Okay, but uh, we'll be okay here. All right, and this and this. Where is Tormenting Blast? Good. And Strength and Dex. Good. And Ice. And if we can get the angle just right, Oh, we missed him. Oh. Ouch. Where is he? Ah, uh, I hate getting up on the wall there where you can't see anything. <laughs> you don't know what, uh, if you can one-shot? Yes. Ramix, everybody can one-shot Mito, uh, at the max difficulty. Um, you absolutely can. Uh, and I'm glad you... You asked because I can show you how to do it, um, and uh, it's it's pretty fun. And uh, the fact that uh, you're able to do it makes it all that much better. Um, and anyone and everyone can do it, uh, which is great. Ice, and this needs to be halberd mastery. Okay. That's a good idea. Okay, and uh, hopefully. We have enough here to actually uh, get up to our level here. This, or first I want to go mind. Get this, okay. And then this. Good. And uh, we should be okay. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, a lot of people do camouflage on that guy, uh, for sure because uh, it, it does really, really well. And you're not wrong if you do that. Okay, and here, uh, definitely, we will go for uh, more damage. Okay, good. And then this uh, to stamina. Okay, let's go. Oh, good grief. <laughs> One hit, oh man. Okay. Whoa. Take it easy there, boy. Alright. Um, unfortunate that we lost um, our uh, sacrificial edge there from that guy hitting us once. Okay. Ouch. Okay. Okay. 
No. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Jack is awful. Uh, as you can see there, he's uh, he's he's a horrible, horrible, horrible companion. Uh, okay. Oh man, I think we'll save this for uh, later. We'll do um, we'll do this one for uh, for the execution here, um, and we'll go for dark shout. Uh, this is the build you're using if you want to take a look at it later. Also been experimenting with other status builds and using inhibit, but that's the basis. Did you drop a link somewhere? Just Mito, it'd be one thing, but everything else is also, yeah, everything else is pretty hard. And that that is the uh, issue, right? Is that uh, you're trying to um, go for, you know, crazy amounts of, uh, of values on stuff while at the same time, you know, you're just not able to actually pull it together at any one point in time specifically, um, which is really a problem. So you just kind of got to deal with it. Um, but that's just how it goes here in vain, <laughs> as you guys know. Okay. Uh, you don't know if it's, sh uh, showing up. Yeah. It probably isn't, but uh, that's okay. Um, if you uh, have the ability to drop it in there, then I definitely want to take a look at it. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's that guy. Hopefully we can get a backstab here. There we go. It's a code for if you want it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I will definitely take a look at that. Okay, so execution does great work, as you can tell. And that is the nice thing about Code Vein is that you can, uh, you know, just absolutely destroy things in very, in various weird kinds of ways um, overall. Okay, and here we want to go for probably this. See what we can get away with. Uh, okay, sure. Why not? Um, let's just go for some more basic things here. Ice, yes. Uh, strength and vitality. Yeah, that's what I want. Good. Okay, now we are good to uh, go here. And this will help us. Poison for Mito. Ooh. Um, when, uh, when you run your Mito run, um, I always go for crush damage um, because it does exceptionally well versus him and it puts him into stagger uh, quite a bit. Uh, and if you're going for other things, you know, I mean, there's a million and a half ways to go for Mito kills, but that's a great, great way to go for it is uh, lots and lots and lots of crush uh, overall. And uh, if you're able to, to, you know, go for it, then it's really good stuff. Uh, okay, and this needs to be strength and dex. Okay, and I think we're ready. Okay, here we go. And, okay. Now the key here is that you want to continue running, so you get that overhead slam. Oh, except when that happens. Oh, we got two for one there. Ouch. Okay, not bad. And if we keep it rolling here, uh, this should be good enough to uh, run That's with her idea. here. Okay. Okay, not 
bad, not bad. Not good, not good, but not bad either. Ouch. Oh no. And Jack's not gonna do anything. Oh. That was... <laughs> we were so close. Oh man. <laughs> you up? Oh yeah. Tower 2. <laughs> Welcome to the pain. Uh, Tower 2, this is why it's so painful. It's just, it's just that way. It's just built that way. Okay. What? That did no damage to him, like, at all. Oh, because I have the wrong blood veil on. Whoops. There we go. <laughs> Uh, can I get a backstab? There we go. Uh, <laughs> without you carrying you? I'm sure you can. You can get there. Anybody can get there. Oh. Okay, there we go. And, uh... Let's uh, switch and get our Ishtar build. There we go. And uh, and again, if you really go hard into it, um, you can absolutely uh, put a lot of effort into you know getting the optimal sets for every every floor. I mean, when I went through the um, when I went through the detailed towers playlist, uh, I went through it. I think it was in seven minutes, um, and I was able to actually get through the entire um, power 2 uh, whoops but uh, it absolutely is a brutal brutal run uh, because there is so much that uh, is happening all at once and it's been a long time since I've done it so uh, that's why it's <laughs> it's uh, it's difficult <laughs> and we're good there and I'm glad that that, that it exists though because um, it really is a challenge to overcome in a in a really big way, uh, but it really is it really is fun. Snowdrift Shiro build would be good for Mito, 100% uh, guard and crush damage. That would be nice. Uh, he does have some unblockables though, so you would have to watch out for that. Um, but other than that, yeah, sure. I mean, that would be great um, if you if you if you go for it. I would definitely say it's uh, it's worth it. Oh, I forgot, um, Tormenting Blast. I think we killed people on top of each other there. Oops. Okay. Okay. Yes, a flawless room. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally a flawless room. Okay, and this. And definitely... Uh, where's Tormenting Blast? Okay. Okay, and we'll go definitely Ice. There we go. And we're out of uh, out of Jack here, so that's really bad. And we're no. Oh. Thanks, Jack. Jack's dead. Yep, figured. Oh my goodness! Uh. Oh my goodness! The towers were really. Learn the game mechanics and made me realize that the devs want you to adjust your build for every situation. Yep, uh, that's absolutely true. Fish for backstabs to make 
Yeah, the the uh, backstab uh, is absolutely Im uh, imperative when you're running Jack's dead as usual. <laughs> yes, the uh, iframes are um, absolutely imperative when you're running different things uh, to make sure that you have those iframes available. Oh, man, this is... <laughs> We're gonna get it, guys. <laughs> We're gonna get it. And don't forget, everything is even higher um, higher damage, possibly. Uh, higher damage than uh, even uh, anything that we fight on... Uh, I missed. I can't believe I missed. Uh, anything that we fight on um, New Game Plus or any of the uh, Road to 100. All these guys are even one level higher than all of that. Uh, which is really, really bad for us. Ugh. Okay, get rid of this guy. Ouch. Okay, and uh, let's head over here. So if this was level 1, or, or like first playthrough, and I was level 300, these guys would evaporate. Um, but because they have uh, higher health than even... Um, than even the enemies that you fight on the regular game, it uh, makes it that much even more difficult, which is why you have to like shoot for the stars here for the highest amount of uh, of damage possible. Uh, you don't remember what it was now, but you remember you experimented and discovered a build with Snowdrift Shurer that has quick mobility? Yeah, there's there's a whole lot of, uh, of builds that you can run the Snowdrift Shurer um, to be quick mobility because it's such a lightweight hammer, um, and, uh, you, you don't get a huge amount of, uh, damage out of it, but you do get quick mobility, and you're using a hammer with a hundred block, so it, it really is nice. Okay. We're almost through. Now, if I could do this floor faster, um, we could get into the executioner faster. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, strength and dex. Uh, no, and tormenting blast. There we go. Good. Okay, I hope I'm ready too, Jack. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Whoops. Okay, good. Twelve and thirteen. Okay, uh, and then we will be into the fight here with uh, the Wonder of Wonders. Okay, good. Let's go. Why does she have to hit me? I can't see anything over here in the wall. Oh, crap. Ugh, we're stuck. This is, oh my goodness, why is she so ridiculous? Ugh. Ugh. You're up then? We're good. Oh man. Okay. Okay guys, I'm gonna get through this. Here we go. This is the final uh, the final set. <laughs> We're gonna get through here, no problem. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I am going to get through here. Okay, there's those guys. Okay, good. And then we'll head over here. Okay, and whoops, this. Good, and then 
head over here. Actually, probably... Yeah. Yep, that'll be better. Okay. Uh, um, you don't know if there's a miss enemies on the floor, sometimes invincible while you're camoed, because they don't register. Yeah, uh, so if they don't... Uh, um, uh, if they don't uh, target you directly, specifically, then um, and they're not active, you can't lock onto them. And in that state, they're they're completely invincible, which is really stupid. But uh, but the thing is, is that uh, if you if you do get close enough to them within a, a small radius of their character, they actually trigger that, oh, there's an enemy nearby even though they can't see you, and then once they become active, you can then um, lock onto them and do an attack or something, but until then, you can't, which is really, really frustrating. Try and catch up on your guys' comments here. Uh, you don't know if uh, your new Game Plus rating will affect it, but if one-handed swords works better for her since she can stagger with enough repeated hits. Yeah, and uh, the, the Argent Wolf uh, Kingblade here can stagger her because it has two attacks, on the gift trigger and uh, so you you can get several 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 attacks and technically what should be happening is she should be getting into stagger and I should be able to kill her uh, before she um, comes out of stagger but uh, she's just not playing nice and uh, I can't get that kill uh, fast enough before her transition so it should be it should be a one phase and done uh, but uh, she's not letting me have it so unfortunate oh let's heal good and so we're, we're going to get it this time because we're going to be quick mobility uh, this time around. Okay, let's heal again. And heal again. Good. And we'll go for Jack. Because we can get everything we need from here. Okay. And this. That to strength and dex. Okay. And this to tormenting. Uh, actually, I want um, Dragon Lunge. That's much better for the Executioner. Okay. Okay. Whoops. Go. Okay. Good. Good. Oh, come on. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay, that is the way to get through there uh, without having too much problem. Okay, and now uh, let's switch back here uh, and get our stuff going. That's a good idea. Well, unfortunately, we're not quick mobility like I wanted to be, but uh, that's okay. We'll uh, we'll be we'll be okay. Uh, where's Dragon Lunge? There we go. And strength and dex. Okay. Too bad Jack is running out here. Uh, did this wrong. Yep, we totally did this wrong, but uh, maybe we can get through. We'll have to see here. And Jack's dead. Can you imagine that? Oh, she like jumped out of the arena then. And I'm dead. <sighs> okay, so for her, we're going to go for the Prometheus Stunner and we're just going to end her. Uh, so we'll keep this one for the adventuring. We'll keep the other one for the beginning and we'll uh we'll put her down here uh with uh with the stunner wanted to do it without that but oh well uh this will this will make very very fast work of her um yeah yeah uh, let's see okay i don't uh that's fine Normal. Mm, sure. 
sure that looks good and not bridge but stun weapon we'll put this here let's see that'll be uh how much how much would that be okay how much is that uh, that will be like 670 6 uh 650 and 35 685 uh and the other one yeah so we'll uh we'll put bridge here okay good uh, okay sorry guys uh there's a lot of calculating going on in the brain here um okay and so for now for the first floor let's do this and this and okay and we don't need uh anything here good uh we'll we'll switch for the pipe Okay, I'm tired of the executioner, so uh, we'll just uh, delete her and uh, move on. Okay. Oops. I don't have... Uh... Okay, that's okay. We'll uh, go for a backstab here, hopefully. And so right now, the guy will be able to track us. Uh, there we go. <laughs> He's just beating on his back there for no reason. Okay. And this guy sees us, so another backstab, and then we'll uh, put him down uh, with another execution here. Good. And of course I missed, because reasons. Okay. And and that is what um, really is the problem with the uh, t uh, tower, is that you almost have to have something for every every room, every floor, every encounter, because if you don't, I mean, it's just, uh, as you see, even, even, you know, going for the, for the fences here, um, it really is difficult. <laughs> um, it's extremely difficult. Now, I don't think this is as hard as the Boreal Brute was, <laughs> uh, as ridiculous as those, as those guys were, um, but, uh, it's definitely, definitely, definitely difficult. Uh, one of the hardest, if not the hardest uh, thing to do in the game, except for going for maybe the pipe challenge, um, or challenges, because uh, the pipe challenges are pretty rough overall. Okay. But as we uh, make our way through here, uh, you can see that uh, we do have the power in each floor to go for everything we need to. It's just whether or not you can actually execute, and that's where it all comes down to is execution. Um, there's nothing, uh, there's nothing for it other than just good, good, solid ex execution. Um, and if, and if you can get it, then you're, you basically win. And if you can't, then you basically lose. So kind of, uh, funny how, how that actually operates. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Good. And that floor, uh, you know, it can just absolutely disappear uh, quickly. Okay, now we go for Jack, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we can, or, uh, I don't want this, I want the Executioner. Where is it? Executioner, there we go, stun, good. Okay. That's a good idea. Okay, so now we need Dex and Mind, uh, and we need Mind and Fortitude. Okay, and then we need, um, I believe, another fortitude. Yep. Oh, not ice. I want health. There we go. Come on. There we go. Okay, and then back to one-handed and swift destruction and our blood veil. Um... Oh, I think I need, um, instead of debuff buildup, I think I need Dex and Mind. Yeah. Okay. And good. Heal up all the way. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Hey, Dionysus. Welcome. Sorry. <laughs> uh, come on. Oh, we're not gonna get, uh, okay. There we go. And we'll switch out. 
Uh, there we go. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. There we go. Okay, and now we'll go for a stun cartridge. And we're losing time, boys. There we go. And it's over. <laughs> uh, so that's probably the best way to get rid of her. Um, <laughs> good morning, it's 10 a.m. for you. Oh, wow. Uh, it is not 10 a.m. here. That is for sure. Okay, and uh, here, let's head back to our uh, this build. Yep, okay. Good. Uh, so she's gone. <laughs> um... Uh, that's a good idea. <laughs> that's why I did it. Uh, hey, you. How's it going? Uh, let's go for ice. Okay. And, uh, oops. Blood sacrifice and strength and vitality. Good. Okay. So now that we've gotten through that, let's uh, head on. <laughs> I wish Mito could be stunned. Yeah, he cannot be stunned. He's immune to stun. He hates stun. So, you know, it's whatever. But uh, that's how he be. And that's how he do. Uh, it's unfortunate, but that's... Yeah, Mito is just uh, unforgiving when you get to that point. Okay, and let's go. And we have to uh, take this boy down quickly here. Uh, so hopefully we can get him gone. Okay, and uh, let's go invisible. Okay, this. Good. There we go. Good. And uh, now we can do our spear. Okay. And hopefully uh, make it Okay, now let's go for a backstab here. Okay. Now the hard part of this is that we need to have Jack alive. Okay. Ouch. Jack, please don't die. Please do not die. Where is he? No. No, 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 no. Okay. Ouch. Oh. No. <laughs> One enemy away. <laughs> I see you're awake. Uh. So close. So unbelievably close. Okay. Man, <laughs> at least we uh, know what we're doing for each floor now, though. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you for the epic chat. <laughs> Hunters in black are brutal. They absolutely are. Uh, they are uh, very, very overpowered at uh, basically new game eight here uh, they are they're extremely high on their damage they're extremely high on their health uh, they're they're very very difficult this whole uh, entire floor is difficult <laughs> what am i saying okay but we're gonna mitigate uh, as much as we can here okay good Okay, got that. Okay, and now we'll switch here for our whack-a-mole. And this is what the tower number two actually takes to get through on the hardest difficulty. It's uh, it's absolutely brutal. Ugh. Oops, I did not go for a gift extension first. That was a mistake. Oh well. 
Okay. Oh, I want this. Okay. They're extremely high on steroids, yes. <laughs> absolutely. They, they are absolutely overpowered um, in the worst way here. And uh, we are not. I mean, we are at massively high amounts of damage, and uh, we still are really, really struggling. <laughs> it's just uh, because it's a it's a kill or be killed um, kind of a run, just because of the fact that uh, you know you you don't have the ability to actually um, do too much in between the floors here. Okay, and uh, there's nothing to really there's nothing to really go for it. You know, it's just literally all up to you. Oh, come on. Okay. Snap decision there to go for the heavy attack. Oops. Okay. Good. Okay. Oops. Okay, got a little lucky there. But I'd rather be lucky than uh, than a lot than dead. Uh, okay, now back to Prometheus. Okay, and where is? Yeah. We probably should go for something like Ice Blood or um, or the Argent Wolf Blade. Let's go for the Argent Wolf Blade. Can I be quick? No, I can't. Okay, good. Um, Okay, uh, this needs to be stun cartridge. This we will go for stamina. Um, we'll put our invisibility over here and we'll put this here. Good. Okay, um, this, good. Okay, I think we're, I think we're ready to go. We got eight heals, we're good. Okay, concentration. Okay, dex and mind, so this needs to be dex, or, uh, um, mind and something. Good. And then dex and fortitude. And mind and fortitude. And back to dex and mind and, uh, opportunism. Okay. Now since we'll have crush damage this time, uh, it'll be a little bit better for us she'll uh, probably stagger harder, but uh, we'll see. Okay, good. Good. Come on, come on. We're on the clock. And stamina. Go, go, go. Okay, good. And she's over. Beautiful. Unfortunately, we are left with 10 I-Core for this next, uh, for this next, uh, guy. But that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll be able to, uh, run through. Uh, good. Uh, this is fine. Okay. Uh, strength and dex. It is nice, though, that, uh, we do get our, uh, uh, stuff back in between. Uh, the, the floor, uh, the boss floors. Oh, this is why you don't use Prometheus too much switching required. <laughs> yeah, but when it uh, puts out, it uh, absolutely is in your uh, favor. So what's my favorite weapon? Um, my favorite weapon... My favorite weapon for the looks of it, not necessarily for the damage and such is the Thunderbolt. I think it's uh, one of the most fun weapons uh, because it has all the damage types uh, built into it and everything. Uh, it's it's a pretty cool weapon overall. I think it's a lot of fun. It looks cool. It, it glows and does things. It, it makes me happy. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a cool weapon. Uh, I would think that that is my uh, most favorite weapon out of the game. I don't know why I'm doing this. I need to do this. Hey, dude. Okay, good. And then, uh, whoops. Uh, nope, I want this. 
and uh, this. Okay, and we'll switch here. Okay, get this and back to. Oops. Good. We're gonna need this before we get into the fight. So we have uh, gift extension active uh, once we get down there. And uh, here we will go for um, Chariot Rush. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, let's go for a backstab here if we can. Ooh, that was lucky. That was super lucky. Oh my goodness, that was so clutch. I cannot believe I got that backstab. And now I'm dead. What? He shot it behind him. <laughs> he shot it behind him. <laughs> oh my goodness, what? Uh... Thought he was targeting Jack because I was dead. Oh my goodness. Yes, I totally agree with the switching presets. Um, that would be absolutely incredible if we could uh, have that ability, because um, man, it, it gets it gets uh, crazy annoying uh, in between every time that you want to go for something uh, that you have to uh, change everything all at once. So yeah, but that's kind of the <laughs> hunter. Hunter got those. <laughs> yeah. The, the hunter is uh, painful. Uh, unfortunate. They they just got super lucky on that one. But uh, that is the that is the wild, wacky, strange charm <laughs> um, uh, of Code Vein. Uh, no, there was only one of them there, Dionysus. There was only one. Uh, only one black hunter. Uh, the other one came in later, and uh, I thought he was going to shoot Jack, but instead he shot me, so whatever. Okay. Okay. All right. I thought we I thought we for sure had it there that time. I was, I was really hoping on that one. That's a good idea. Oh, man. You hate to see it, guys. You just hate to see it. Yeah, they, they act like uh, Queen Slayer is <laughs> is used for so many builds, and that's why um, I've uh, on purpose tried to find other things in the game that uh, that actually are different than Queen Slayer because I got so tired of seeing Queen Slayer on everything <laughs> that uh, it was in, it was much better for my sanity that I actually went for other things, uh, which is where the Prometheus build was born out of and and different things. Um, it definitely was uh, was intriguing to see uh, how how you can get a lot of things come out of uh, very unsuspecting places. Oh. Okay. Now we can get through this floor at least. I hate that uh, warping in animation, as it makes you miss miss a lot of things. Oops. Okay. Good. Queen Slayer's everywhere. <laughs> the other one had died by then. Yeah, I, I, I'm not exactly sure uh, what was going on, but I know that uh, I thought the guy was turned towards me, or turns towards Jack, and then he uh, turned around and shot me somehow, so very, very odd. Um, how that went down, but that's okay. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. 
Okay. And then uh, we have this, so we need extra fortitude. Don't give in so easily. I'm not giving in to anything, Jack. What are you talking about? Okay, now executioner time. But this is why it's uh, it's best to switch for everything, uh, just because of the fact that you're constantly um, having to go through these floors, um, which is why you haven't seen me uh, very often go through the um, towers, which is why I did the uh, I did the uh, detailed tower list, and then I just kind of left it there because I was like, this is going to be painful to do these <laughs> uh, ever again. Oops, that was not what I wanted, but okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. Okay, and let's go for stun weapon. So, it is what it is, but, uh, you know, you hate to see the, the death and the destruction, but sometimes it's it's important. Okay. Now, it's, it's uh, good to uh, continue hitting her in between the damage reduction phase because you're able to continuously build your stacks of damage in between there. So that's uh, really important that you continue that uh, onslaught of damage overall. Okay. Whoops. Okay, so then... Uh, there we go. Good. Okay. Find towers one and three to be fun. Yes, towers one and That's three. One is uh, basically a joke because you can um, you can cheese your entire way through there with elemental resistances. But uh, floor three is pretty fun uh, because it gives you good uh, bayonet target practice. And uh, floor two <laughs> is just absolutely brutal. I mean, it is brutality on brutality on brutality. And then to top it all off, you have Mito at the end, so <laughs> it's pretty hilarious how they do that to you. Um, okay, and we'll, we'll go one more, and ice, and then strength and dex, where are you, there we go, and, and dragon lunge. So I think what we'll do is we'll just uh, continue on uh, after this, and we will not go for the cerulean spear. Uh, we'll, we'll, I mean, we should be going for ice pierce, but uh, we're wasting time, so we'll just uh, continue on here. Okay, we'll go for some stamina, this. Okay. Okay. I mean, whatever works, right? Okay. Oh. Oh. No! Please don't kill Jack, please don't kill Jack. Oh, and then he killed me. Oh my goodness. You're up then? Uh, wow. I was actually nervous that time. Ugh. You just hate to see it, guys. I need some water. Shield bearers should be deleted from the game. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely they should be. Um, <laughs> there's and, and you get that uh, gift. Um, uh, I forget the name off the top of my head. Uh, um, I forget what it is. And it's like, oh, you can, uh, you, can uh, you know, do uh, more damage to an enemy's uh, guard. And... Uh, uh, put them down, and it's like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. He's, he's dead, or what's going on? Okay. Uh, why don't our black boyos shoot lightning? Uh, why don't they? Who is the black bayonet? bullets uh, actually looked like the ones the hunter shoots out. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would be awesome. That would be so cool if it actually looked like that. That would be really, really cool. But that would mean you'd have to have some imagination uh, going into uh, the, the, the game here. Um, okay. And uh, if you don't have the imagination 
then uh, you you don't make things cool. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, I definitely got ninja'd on that one really hard. So oh, that was super ninja hard. But uh, if we if we are uh, capable to um, go for overdrive, we'll be able to one shot those guys. Uh, so we'll we'll go for that. Um, and make sure we have extra damage, we just can't get hit, right? But that's how it is for everything here, uh, with what we're running, is just don't get hit. <laughs> Cathedral shield bearers, Bash has two active frames before you're face down on the ground. <laughs> you're probably not wrong about that. Um, I don't have frame data on their attack, but uh, I know it's very, very, very fast. Be sure. There we go. Nope. Okay. Pretty good so far on Whack-A-Mole. And guys, don't ask me why I didn't use um, Adrenaline uh, or Overdrive before. Oh, Jax. Oh my goodness. That was a cluster. Hmm. Oh. Wow. There's no problem without a solution. Let's find ours. Find ours, huh? Okay, Jack. <laughs> uh, that was a really, really, really poor, uh, poor display there. Oh uh, man. You just hate to see it. And this is when, uh, when you realize that uh, Code Vein at the max difficulty, uh, really does. Uh, lay it out on you, uh, and they lay it out thick, and they put all the the cheesy, stupid stuff, you know, <laughs> in the uh, weird kind of ways how you uh, go in in your engagements, and uh, they put it all they put it all out there for you. I mean, it's absolutely brutal. Okay, we're going for a little bit of extra eye core there, since we uh, can go for thirty. Might as well get as much as we can before we uh, go through here. Good, I'll take 22. That's a good number. Favorite tower is the third. Yeah, the the, the third tower is, is a lot of fun. I, I like the first one just because you can completely completely erase it uh, for, for, no, for no reason. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, yeah. But uh, I do I do think the uh, towers here were, were a really good idea overall. I think they were a fantastic um, engagement engaging uh, kind of end game everything that you want to go for you know to put it all out. Uh, but <laughs> it's 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 painful. It's it's so painful. <laughs> okay, especially um, especially because of just the fact that. Uh, the blood trails are frustrating. Yes, they are absolutely horrible, but uh, especially because uh, this really, really puts it puts you uh, in the uh, testing phase of you know, are you uh, capable of um, finding builds that are over the top to actually give you um, to give you uh, the edge that you're looking for uh, during each fight, because every fight is kind of stacked against you in a really, really bad way. And if you can uh, find the way to stack the game back in your favor, then uh, you can absolutely turn the game around really, really hard. But unfortunately, you know, uh, <laughs> this game just loves the weird, bizarre RNG that uh, <laughs> that you just hate to see. And uh, it's got all of it. It's got all the pain that you would never want to see in a game. <laughs> this reminds me of Operation Queenslayer. No, it doesn't, Jack. <laughs> this is nothing like Operation Queenslayer. What? He's always on about something. That's absolutely ridiculous. You got your medals in the third tower? I got my medals uh, before we even had the towers. Uh, that, was, that was a very long, drawn-out, painful experience uh, of uh, about 19 times through the game before I had my uh, before I had my medals, but that was a long time ago. Whoops, that was a long time ago. 
deck just stands there like he's too cool for school. All right, and uh, let's get this going. Good, and this, and this. Okay, heal up. Okay, whatever. Good. This. Okay, this, and this. Good. There she is. Okay, and this is how you just take the, uh, whoops, how you take the Executioner out of the game and just make her a joke. <laughs> um, the Prometheus Stunner is just ultra powerful. I mean, it, it, it on a boss that can be stunned, there is no, there is no comparison. It's, it's incredible. Alright, and as we go through this again, okay, we're gonna get through it here. We're gonna get through it, boys. Don't you worry. We're gonna go for all the damage we could possibly find. <laughs> like take, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jack, Jack to Moth Girl. <laughs> he has lines for that. Yeah, Jack has a, uh, a lot of talk and a lot of, uh, you know, Jack's Jack's interesting. Jack's definitely very interesting. He's a one-of-a-kind partner. <laughs> uh, what what type of build would I suggest for fighting Mito without Jack as a companion? Uh, go for the Eva pipe build, uh, and you'll you'll kill him in about thirty seconds. It's uh, it's very 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 strong. Um, it's it's overpowered. Um, it's very very overpowered. Uh, but uh, you know that's not for everyone. I I understand. But it is definitely super overpowered. Okay, and hello, there we go. But that is uh, that is what I typically, if I go for a uh, fast speed kill on Mito, that is what I do. I definitely want to go for um, uh, the pipe, the pipe kill. Okay. Good. 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 Wow, this boy is so speedy. Oh, we did it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> And Mito's a joke. So let's see just how high the Wrathful Balmung takes us. Oh, I can't believe we did it. Oh my goodness. And and now you get to see the uh, the one shot uh, the one shot Wrathful Balmung uh, devastating damage. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a run! Okay, this and. A bridge and this, yep, 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 yep. And then here, need this and mobility enhancer, uh, and this and stamina. Okay, here we go. I gotta, gotta get myself up here and, uh, all right, Jack. Here we go. Man, I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? I gotta go pee or something. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. I got this. Jack has confidence in me. Now, getting here with Jack is uh, a miracle all in its own, uh, because Jack is, you know, Jack things. Um, <laughs> Hey, guess what? <laughs> what? 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 Don't, don't, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'll get to you in a second. <laughs> okay, here we go. And, uh, Steadfast Strike, where are you at? Here we go. Here we go. Good. Good. And just so you guys see on the card here, we're at 19,028. Okay.
Oh, good grief. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you guys. What? You what? Oh, we had it. We were... <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna go pee. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Good grief. Okay, so let's get it going again here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instant karma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys, you guys are funny. Oh man, here we go. Down the rabbit hole again. At least we know what. At least we know what we're doing, though, right? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Um, okay, and here we need our invisibility again, at least. Okay. There we go. Do we, um, well, <laughs> well, these are the builds, uh, that, uh, absolutely are exceptional for, uh, for getting through the towers. Uh, it's all down to execution. Not the gift, but the actual gameplay. <laughs> Where's the passive to remove animation of dying <laughs> and resing so you don't stand up into another hit? Um, that is called developer... Uh, <laughs> developer uh, evilness. <laughs> yeah, that is... Uh, that is wrong. <laughs> oh, man. I am very, very salty about that death. Oh. It just needs a good, just needs a good one hit to the face, and then, uh, and we'll all be happy. Oh. You mean intentional feature? <laughs> oh man, what code? Uh, which code? Um, rib cage. Ripcage is um, pretty pretty easy to get. You just gotta beat Aurora, um, and uh, don't uh, don't restore her memories. Alrighty, good. Okay, sure. We'll go for this. Uh.
Right, okay. I don't know why I'm looking at the floor there. Okay. Ouch. I didn't know that was a gunner. Uh, okay. Alright, Mito. I am coming for you. The Operation Queenslayer. The code. Um... Where is the Argent Wolf Blade? Here we go. Alright, back through this nonsense again. Okay. Uh, and I feel like uh, we've done this before, guys. I feel like we've been here. Haven't we haven't we fought uh <laughs> haven't we fought the executioner a few times? <laughs> oh man. Yes. Dex of mind and mind and fortitude or anything mind and whatever. Okay. Heal. One more. Heal. Good. And heal. And check. Do this. Good. Um I feel like we've met somewhere before. That's right. I I, I really do think that we've seen her somewhere before. Oh, I don't have any i -Corp. Okay. We'll, uh... That was a mistake. There we go. There we go. Okay, good. She's gone. Uh, now we got, uh, big, big squiddy boy down here, which is a real problem. Um, yeah, Ishtar is good. Okay, back to our big sword, because we are going to go through this floor in the next one. Yep, 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 good. Uh, ice, please. Sure, that's fine. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. And here we need this. Okay. Good. That's on field of first. Field of Thirst. Um, Field of Thirst is awesome. Versus i Regeneration. Uh, so they are very different. Uh, they have different uh, applications and different uh, different reasons why you would go for different things. Uh, if you are going for the pipe, uh, definitely go for um, i Regeneration as uh, you can use it and not have really any uh, hindrance to your uh, operations. But if you're going for, uh, typically if you're going for gifting, I would definitely go for um, uh, Field of Thirst as opposed to uh, i -Corps Regeneration. But uh, I would definitely say uh, go for, uh, go for uh, i -Corps Regeneration when you're running um, the pipe as it, makes an, as it makes for an exceptional pairing uh, overall. And uh, I think you will uh, find it in very good uh, company and very good spirits uh, to actually do that. Oh. No! With this guy... Please. There we go. Where is this thing? Okay. Wow, that was risky. Ouch. Okay, please. Thank you. No, we're both gone. Ah. My operation is called Queen Slayer. What should I use? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just can't barely even get through here, so how how can I give you advice? <laughs> oh, man. I might be getting tired, you know? <laughs> uh, isn't that what you do when you uh, lose at golf or different things? You just start making excuses for all the, all the reasons why you can't do something. And uh, the obvious reason is, you know, get good. Okay, here we go. Risking the, the fighting code thing. 
uh, copyright music on YouTube. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> uh, there we go. Maybe this reminds you of Jack Queen uh, Slayer because it reminds him of dying. <laughs> yes, uh, we did do that, and he did kill us. So maybe, maybe he has, uh, you know, hard feelings about it or something. Who knows? Good. Okay, that thing's gone. Doing trial three, go to Skull King and die while he was one hit away from death. No. <laughs> oh man, that would be heartbreaking. Is it more heartbreaking than what this is? Probably. Because that's actually doable. This is just insanity. Okay, there we go. The only attack from the great swords you don't like is the is the first straight down attack. Yeah, it, it misses too often. That's absolutely true. Um, it uh, it is very quirky and unique in that sense, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, if you can if you can avoid that, um, you can do really really good damage. Uh, otherwise, okay. Here we go. Oh, a nice gift. Two of them off the gate. Another two. We're just taking them out here. Another two. Man, these doubles are excellent. Please, another two? Nope. Okay. Well, that was fast. That was super fast. Um, <laughs> wow. I did not expect that to go so fast, but that's fine. Um, I like the, the faster version. Okay, now here we need stun. Um, and then we'll go for our mind first. Okay. Gift extension. And that is the interesting thing about Code Vein, right? Is that, uh, wherever, wherever you're struggling, uh, you can go for a different build, and you can absolutely make up, uh, something crazy. Um, you know, in a very easy, simple way, and uh, you can change everything from what you were doing to do something different, and it becomes, you know, good again. So, kind of neat how, how the game actually works in that kind of regard. And I'm sure you guys have had your fill of that kind of stuff as well. Okay. You see why Jack is screaming at you? Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Um, okay, good. Okay, this and stun. Alright. Wow, she just went, like, through that entire stun phase. That was wild. Um, she literally, like, ignored uh, the stun. That was weird. That was very weird. Okay. Um, good. Back to ice. Uh, sure. Uh, sure, that all looks good. It, it looks good, but is it good? Can we do it? Here we go. That's a good idea. What do I guess to me to inject shoves and another blood shot through your chest again? Oh man, that would be that would be something Jack would do. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, here we go, boys. Here we go. We are gonna get there. I wonder if there's any girls watching, because there have been a strange amount of uh, females um, joining the channel lately, so hello to all the ladies out there as well. Uh, okay, and let's see here. This, and this, and this. Okay. That is the safest way to get rid of this boy. 
All right, and uh, now on to the next floor. Good. Ouch. Why you gotta do me like that? No! <laughs> Why? Uh, the females are here for the Operation Queen Slayer. Uh, those guys, those guys are awful. Uh, they're here for Jack Suit. Oh yes, Jack Suit is top notch. Oh man, that is just a heartbreaking death. Are we gonna get through? Just gotta get another good run. Just one good run, and it's all over. Oh yeah. What in the world? I forgot, we didn't go invisible. My mind is failing me. <laughs> Okay. Let's just beat the other one down uh, here and we'll get uh, some I Core back. Okay, 15, that's not bad. Uh, at least Jack's suit does look impressive. <laughs> Jack, don't even start with me, bro. Oh, man. Jack is something else. Okay. At least we can get through the first couple of floors uh, pretty easily. It's just that fifth floor. I mean, man, those guys hit you once, you're gone. Just, there's no coming back. And you make one wrong move, you're gone. There's no coming back. <laughs> and floor five is just unbelievably brutal. I mean, they do, I, I think I did a test one time, and they do up to like 5,000 something damage. Um, and it's it's unbelievable that they actually do that huge amount of damage. Now you can survive one of their attacks with uh, Aslepius and uh, and uh, getting extremely high amounts of health, um, but uh, it's not uh, it's not a pretty sight on how how high you need to go on vitality. Where is he? Uh, to in order to uh, uh, you survive one of those attacks. Oh, I was too far away. At least we're getting a couple of eye core uh, concentrates and regen inducers and stuff. Uh, still doesn't help the help the cause here though, of uh, my my ability being tested to the fullest. Okay, um, let's go ahead and heal a bit here before we get into it. Okay. That's good. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I would uh, encourage you guys that if you if you don't uh, play on the hardest difficulty, uh, to to go all the way because it absolutely is a completely different game than uh, what you play uh, normally on like level one runs or uh, zero star kind of setups and stuff, um, because of how the enemies scale here on on the higher levels it's just absolutely bonkers how uh, how difficult some of this stuff uh ends up being um but uh in the in the base game it's not not too bad right uh whoops i didn't want to do that uh but here when you when you start going above uh what the actual level uh cap is of the game and you go into this territory it becomes a whole different story <laughs> Okay, so we're doing about 8,000 damage on a uh, slash right now, so that's really, really good, especially since she has a 10% uh, reduction to crush in the second phase, so we're, we're able to uh, really uh, beat her down 
significantly just because of that, uh, just because of uh, um, Blade Dance being so incredible. At least we have a lot of items too, so that's that's nice. Okay. Let's uh, wait here a little bit and uh, get as much I-Core up as we can. Okay. Because we need all of our gifts to be as on long of a of a time here as possible. So we don't have a lot of uh, dead time. Okay. Okay, Jack. Here we go. Let's go, Jack. Good ice and dragon lunge. Okay. Good. Okay. And head on down. Here we go. Okay. I don't know why I'm picking up my haze. Okay. Oh. No. <sighs> you guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fully conscious? No, <laughs> I must be dead inside by now. Uh, Jack. You guys still want to see this? <laughs> like, I'm going to finish this. I've got to finish this. I, I just have to. It's a matter of principle at this point, right? Okay. Here we go. Good, that guy's gone. This guy will not will disappear here in a second. Okay. There we go. And we'll get rid of this. Okay, I am going to I am going to definitely be as try hard as possible here. Uh, no more joking around. No more messing around. We are going all in. I, I mean, I've been going all in, so... What is going to be different? I don't know. Here we go. Attack that killed Jack <laughs> across the map. <laughs> it's one of your favorites to parry. Uh, I'm glad that you can parry, because maybe hubris? <laughs> yes. Uh, probably a little of both. Probably all the above. I am horrible at parries. Uh, I don't attempt them very often, as I'm sure you guys have seen on the channel here. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, Jack. Let's do it. All right. Okay, there we go. Where is he? Okay. Okay. Where's the other one? Oof, okay, good, good, good. Floor two, done. On to floor three. Uh, floor three. Yep, this. Okay, good. There we go. All right, I'm not gonna, not gonna look at the chat. You guys are distracting me. I'm. <laughs> it's all your fault, right? <laughs> Always chat's fault. Um, uh, here we go. All right, and uh, we're gonna, we're gonna get through here. Here we go. All right, gift extension. You guys aren't actually that active, which is nice because it gives me some time to actually put my thoughts together. No, Jack. Uh, but I really do, uh, really do love having you guys along. Don't ever misconstrue that. Uh, okay, and then Dex and Mind and Mind and whatever. Hey, Gitzer, <laughs> you're you're witnessing uh, my my brain uh, fall apart all at one time here. <laughs> oh. 
Mm. Okay, here we go. Let's go for one of these. Oh, and we need stun weapon. Here we go. Okay. Oh, man. Here we go. <laughs> she sat down and then she stood up. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice. Um, good. Yep. Nice. Good. And we'll need our big sword. The biggest of swords. Okay. That's a good idea. Give up trying to parry the ice deal seahor. <laughs> Yeah, uh, angles are hard. Uh, I did a uh, uh, several streams a while ago trying to get that. That was the last um, very difficult thing that I had to do uh, for for getting uh, different uh, codes and and uh, items and different things. I feel your pain on that one for sure. Okay. Jack's letting it flow, boys. Okay, that is good. Let it flow, Jack. So these these ice cartridges last for six seconds. With gift extension, they last for nine. So that's uh, kind of nice to know. If you didn't know, that's how it goes. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Help. Oh. What? That did not hit me. No, Jack's dead. No, and I can't revive him. No. Jack, I'm so sorry. Oh, good grief. Somebody hit me. Uh, the lightning pipe, the double spin attack always got you. Oh, yeah. Um, Don't make me so anxious like that. The double spin attack is uh, absolutely uh, painful. You haven't tried for a pipe yet? What's the easiest? Uh, the easiest pipe kill is probably the uh, um, Ice Queen. The Frozen Empress, and then the second easiest is probably the uh, the um, uh, the dog, and then the hardest is the Hellfire by by a large margin. But everybody has different skill levels. My skill level is pretty bad, um, and uh, so that's why the uh, Hellfire Knight is the hardest for me. Okay, what did I even do? on this hmm okay um crush huh oh that's right I've been using the wrong sword on that floor yeah I wanted to go for this sword okay oops Okay, um, wow. I was not prepared for Tower of Trial 2. Here we go. Like Hellfire Knight since he actually feels like a boss? Yes. <laughs> I, I think he's the best boss in the game. Um, I think he's uh, exceptional. Uh, however, I suck at him. I'm very bad at him. Uh, but I do definitely think that he is an exceptional, exceptional uh, fight. Hey, I'm not uh, getting a backstab there, unfortunately. Jack, oh. Okay. 
Can we get more than 15 icorn? There we go, 16. Okay, I'll take it. It was easy for you because you just smacked his body with lightning and all the attack buffs on Ishtar. Yeah, uh, that is that is the plan, right? I mean, that's what that's what we all aspire towards. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, actually being able to last for um, and I had to do the pipe challenge on the hardest difficulty, so it took me extra long to actually um, go for all the pipes because uh, he had uh, more than like double the damage that I had to do than most people on uh, zero star. So it was exceptionally bad, exceptionally bad. Yeah, I'm not I'm not complaining that he's hard um, or that he's good. Uh, all I'm all I'm saying is that he was he was really hard for me uh, because I had to do it on such a, a huge difficulty spike as compared to uh, you know if I was. Um, if I was uh, doing it on Hero Star and didn't have to uh, go for the fights, because uh, when I got my uh, gold pipe, uh, the fight with him was uh, 12 minutes, because it had to, I had to uh, get it, uh, whoops, uh, because I had to uh, do so much damage, it's it's like close to 200,000 damage, oh, it's close to 200,000 damage that you have to go for, and uh, it's unbelievably brutal uh, when you when you do that. DLC bosses uh, <laughs> actually good fight. Yep, he's actually a good fight. Oh, whoops. This and uh, this time we're definitely gonna go for our crush sword on the uh, hunter boys. Uh, so we can get uh, higher damage value. That's why I wasn't able to one-shot them, because that turns into whack-a-mole just like uh, Lord 2 there. Okay. I shouldn't have been struggling with it as much as I have been, uh, because that's what we should be doing is crush damage. We should be doing pierce overall, but there's nothing uh, pierce uh, that does uh, exceptional. So that's why we have to do it that way. So, apologies, guys. That's why the the guides that I've already recorded in the past, where I forgot about everything, uh, are the way to go. Not uh, watching me live think off the top of my head, because uh, that's when things oops, that's when things go bad. <laughs> okay, and here we go. Oops. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, there we go. Okay, very nice. This will be a uh, one dead executioner. Eel clone by yourself is a joke. <laughs> Yeah, the double, uh, they do have some pretty significant resistances, though, um, but uh, they are, uh, the reason they're actually easy and simple is because they stagger really, really hard. I mean, like, nobody's business. They just stagger, and if you get, and if you use a, um, if you use a uh, halberd, like a piercing halberd, they stagger after two attacks uh, constantly. So it is, uh, it is the way to go, absolutely. Uh, something like the, the Impaler or something, and uh, it's it's a lot of fun to uh, poke them, and uh, they can't do anything about it. Okay, so Strength and Dex. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, here we go. So put this boy down, and then we'll switch to our Queen Slayer uh, Great Sword, and uh, we should be we should be good. I mean, whoops, that was a mistake, but it turned out to be okay. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but um, okay enough. All right, here we go. Let's go, Jack. Where, where is he? There we go. There 
There we go. Where is he? Okay. No, 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 no. Good job, Jack. No! No, please, please. Okay. Oh, yes, okay. Good, okay. Change your sword and everything goes um, exceptional. <laughs> Not exceptional, but you know. Uh, okay, two handed. Where is Wrathful Balmung? Oops. Uh, this, here, this. Okay. There we go. Shot number two. Can we do it? <laughs> Oh, man. Alright, Jackie boy. Yeah, heal up, please. What are you doing? I need to heal up, too. Alright, here we go. Okay. Nervous. Definitely nervous. Very nervous. Please do not hit me, and we'll call it square. How about that? Yes! <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> uh, so, Ramix, I hope you were watching, um, and uh, you saw the one shot there. Uh, this is the the definitive one-shot Mito kill build, and uh, it, uh, and even here on the highest, highest of highest values on um, Mito, uh, you can actually Useful. take him down. Ugh. And we get a pretty, eh. oh, wow, that feels good. <laughs> that feels so good. Oh. Uh, lots of presents. Look at that. Oh, man. Okay, let's go back to home base for a second. Oh, my goodness. Thanks, Creepy. <laughs> yeah, we clapped him hard that time. And, uh, whew. Okay. And if you're going for, uh, Power 1, uh, this is, like, you don't even... You missed the, me the Mito kill fighting Skull King. Let's <laughs> go. You didn't even <laughs> beat him. <laughs> oh, Ramix. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Now for uh, for the first tower, uh, for the second tower, it's all about Jack. Um, and for the first tower, it's all it's all about Eva. Um, so you want to go for something like Eos or Bali, and it's all about the pipe. Um, so the first floor is the. Uh, First floor is Ice Boy, so you go for Fire Pipe. Uh, where is it? Uh, gifted this Fire Pipe. You know, 2.0. Take a dirt nap. That's right. Uh, that is right. Okay, and then if I can uh, make this up on the go here. Um, uh, Eva Dark. No, it's it's the best to go for. Uh, Best to go for uh, light pipe on on this, and it's uh, absolutely hysterical how uh, how fun this is. Um, I guess I guess strength and fortitude. Um, okay, then we need. Uh, let me see. Something bothering you? Uh, we need more more mind, as much mind as we can possibly get. I wish we had a strength and mind. That would be incredible. Uh, but no. No such luck here for us. And uh, let's go for Dream. Um, and here we'll go for Bridge and Eva. Oh, and Fire 
And here we will go for Mind of Willpower. Here we will go for this. And we got uh, Ice Boy up first. Um, I think we'll be good there. Um, and here we'll go for uh, Blood Sucking Blades, I guess. And Gift Extension. And here we'll go for Ice. The Drain Activator. Stamina and recovery. Okay, so here for floor one, or for tower one, do I play God Eater? No, I do not. It's trick ban on Louis. What's your play code vein? He's left, you to, <laughs> he's left you to die so many times. Yeah, Louis is uh, your thought, just intriguing. Uh, Louis is very, very intriguing and in how his uh, gameplay loop runs. Uh, that is for, for certain. Okay. And uh, here we have the butterfly, I believe. So uh, we'll have to uh, make do with that. Okay, and good. Okay, heal. I will have 26. Okay, that, this, and here. Almost did it out of order there, guys. Okay, and now we have um, our ice resistance is... Uh, 215. So we just waltz in here. Oh, he's dead. Okay, perfect. Um, that's very good. And uh, let's head down into the depths. And I guess, I guess let's go for a backstab, because we're going to need uh, some abilities here afterwards. I, so, a little funny story about God Eater. I did want to um, play God Eater um, once upon a time, when it was uh, God Eater 3 was coming out. And I had a choice between this and God Eater 3, and I went for this instead. And uh, so I started um, playing uh, this with uh, nothing prior, uh, any kind of prior uh, understanding of these kinds of games or anything. This is the first uh, kind of Souls thingy I did, okay, I've, I've ever done, and uh, I'm glad I did. Okay. Whoa. Okay. And we got another one. Okay, we're... Uh, we lost Eva, so that's really, really bad. Um, because we are losing huge amounts of uh, damage. But uh, it's okay. Alright, and then for the um, butterfly... Uh, we will... let's see. Uh, we should be okay to run something like this, uh, and we'll... we won't exactly run, uh, the stun, but we will run slow. And... Eva is good enough here for us. Okay. All right, and let's go ahead and get ourselves going here. Thanks. No problem, Eva. Now the uh, goal here is to not get hit with the butterfly, <laughs> obviously. Um, but uh, she does uh, a whole lot of bad things to us, so we have to really uh, watch out all around for everything she's uh, doing all the time. Okay, and uh, this uh, goes back to uh, this, and this goes back to Dex and Mind. Okay, good. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Um,
Okay. Good. And now we go for slow. Okay. And this goes back to... Oh, uh, what was here? Dexamine. Okay. And we need a slow cartridge. My goodness. Everything is... I am slow. Everything is slow. Okay. Unfortunate that she's doing the explosion there. Okay. Oh. I know that you, Eva. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's back up and heal. Uh, this is by no means the ideal way to uh, go for attacking her. But uh, we'll uh, we'll get her done. Okay, uh, bridge is almost over. Everything's almost over. Oh my! Wow. Oh. Eva just got slammed. Uh. Are you awake? Sure. Okay. So for the butterfly, I we are going to um we're going to shoot her. Okay. Back to volley. This might not be working. <laughs> Eva, come on. Okay. Uh, and here we're gonna go for the Libertador. There we go. Okay. And okay, we got that. Good. All right. Let's just uh, hop on down, and uh, we'll we'll deal with him as uh, as appropriate, just because of the fact that. Uh... <laughs> gotcha, buddy. You're gonna go sleep. All right. Hey, take it easy, Ramix. Uh, thanks for joining, and uh, hopefully uh, you have a, a great time out there in Bane, and uh, <laughs> I'm so glad you were able to uh, join and uh, definitely go back and uh, see the needle kill that you missed, because um, it's uh, actually pretty hilarious um, overall. So, yeah, thanks, thanks so much for coming out. Really, really good to have you here. Really, really, really good to have you here. All right. And uh, let's head on down. Okay. And we'll go for Eva now. Is there three of them? No. Just two. Okay. I thought there was three for a second. I was like, wait a minute. Okay, we need some more backstabs here. Eva, you're out of bullets. Let's <laughs> stop pulling the trigger. So for these guys, uh, this becomes uh, pretty simple overall, and if you really want to go for the speed run, you go for um, uh, you go for uh, Ishtar again, what we were kind of doing with Jack, um, but uh, this is a lot more fun uh, because you can uh, use Eva really, really well. Oh, he's here already. What? Is everybody dead? Okay, everybody's dead. Alright, so for Butterfly... Let's go ahead and give her a shot to the dome. 
Now, I don't really need Eva here, uh, so that's okay. Uh, we will go for all the things here. Okay, and this. Good. Here we want to have something different like that. Okay, and strength and willpower instead. And dex and willpower instead. Okay, uh, good. Okay, now, uh, to shoot the butterfly, uh, typically you want to have Jack, obviously, but uh, I want to get through here with Eva because she makes the kitty fight uh, pretty hilarious overall, and so uh, we want to um, make it through here as, as good as possible. Okay. Alright, this, and one more, good. And then this, where is Radiant Barrel? There we go. Good, and this. Alright. And let's go. Oh, come on. Okay, good. Um, and then we have uh, the ice. I or the we do ice. We want to do ice damage now, and have fire resist. So now we uh, switch, and uh, we are back to what we should be going for here. And we want to go for the ice pipe now. Uh, where's ice pipe? There we go. All right, and uh, let's go pick up our haze. So this is where um, uh, so let's keep it floor. Safe. Our tower one actually is uh, pretty fun because uh, you can go through here in a whole bunch of different ways, like a lot of different ways. All right, now this guy is extra angry, uh, so we will have to really, really watch ourselves. Oh, missed him. A lot of these guys you can hit um, from the uh, drop downs, which is a lot of fun. Okay. Okay, you definitely want to stop him from his Bernie uh, Bernie attack there. And he's basically just a, uh, a warm-up for the uh, next floor, where you have lots of folks all over the place. Okay, and we'll go for ice. Good. Okay, and now uh, as we head down, we will want to go for Eva uh, kind of mid-string uh, here. And that's also another reason why uh, this area, the first floor, is kind of hilarious uh, because of the fact that uh, um, you can be 100% invincible to these guys. Uh, as soon as you get here, it's like, well, it's kind of all over at this point, right? <laughs> and that's kind of how it is. Ouch. As you see there. Uh, elemental wall. Everybody's so angry. <laughs> okay. Okay. And this guy, uh, we can use him to uh, load up on Icor for the for the kitty fight uh, if we need to. And uh, even though we are doing fire backstabs, it it's okay. We still have a whole lot of uh, damage. Uh, it's basically meant to just load up uh, before the fight instead of using our heals and such. Uh, it's uh, just to kind of you know get as much up as possible. Now bridge will end during the fight with the cat, um, but that is okay. Yep, I'm the carrier of the blood. That's for sure. And now we're uh, super invincible. And uh, you can see here that we're at 249 fire. <laughs> uh, so even if we lose um, uh, oh, uh, flame wall. Oh, now that we're focused, um, we're at uh, uh, 2503. So that's pretty good damage. Ouch. 
you can see that it just uh, doesn't matter what she does um, because it just ends uh, super easy. Oh, we need some stamina. And uh, in this fight, you can get focused like all the time. I can actually read chat with this. Okay, and uh, element or uh, bridge is over. There we go. And uh, we're getting getting close to focus, so that's nice. Where is she? So yeah, this is this is not really a boss fight. Um, because you just kind of beat her down to death with the pipe here, and it makes for a, a kind of... Uh, what is our uh, elemental resist? 255. <laughs> oh my goodness. You just love to see it. So yeah, the, the cat fight is uh, not really anything. It's uh, the easiest tower. Uh, you can go through here pretty quickly. And then the third tower, um, we're not going to do it, but... Uh, with the third tower, you want to go for bayonets, typically, until you get to the Skull King, and then you want to try for uh, some other crazy, crazy damage uh, setups. Um, namely, like, uh, the one-shot setups and stuff where you can do, like, I think it's like 80% of his health in one hit. Or at least here, here at my level. Um, if, if you're at max difficulty, then it becomes really, really difficult. Alright guys, uh, I think that, I think that makes for a good five and a half hour stream here. Um, anybody have any other last uh, requests or anything? Because uh, I'm getting pretty tired. I think we'll uh, call it a day here. And uh, so we went over a whole lot of things here. But if you guys have anything extra that you'd want to uh, kind of see or go over or go through uh, before tomorrow, uh, then uh, let me know. I have been having some problems with my screenshots. So in the coming week, I probably won't be having screenshots or the thumbnails available. I don't know what Steam is doing, but it's having some problems with the uploads. But uh, I really, really had a lot of fun um, with you guys tonight or today or whatever. <laughs> We're not going to do it. PTSD. Oh, yeah, that's totally what it is. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Tower 3 is... Tower 3 is interesting um, because it, you can uh, completely thread through the enemies um, very, very hard with uh, good, good, good bayonet setups um, or like the Cerberus Troopers because they're 25% weak um, to piercing damage and bullets just shred through them. It's a really, really good thing um, that you can go for to uh, just put them down very, very hard. And uh, the Berserker, you know, he's he's whatever. But uh, you can put him down equally equally as well uh, with Radiant Barrel or something like that. And uh, it can it can go over very, very well. But anyways, uh, if there's nothing else, guys, I think I'm going to take my leave. I uh, wish you all the best of best. And uh, I, I'm so glad that you guys were able to hang out uh, for, for as long as you were. And everybody, uh, for your suggestions and your comments and your fun along the way here, uh, it's been a it's been a really good time. So thank you guys, and uh, we'll we'll see you tomorrow uh, for the road to 100 and uh, whatever else we have planned. So have a good one, guys. We'll talk to y'all later. Uh, for the road to 100, oops, what the heck am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing here.